on Punch Drunk Sports. And Punch. welcome to the our 30th studio, everybody. We are live. It's Punch Drunk. We're live. We're winners win in our new studio. Look at this. Look who's all grown up. Joining us, you know who we are. You know what we're here to do. Okay, join us in studio is our favorite UFC fighter. Uh, um, uh, he's moving now, a California resident. Mickey Gall, everybody. What's up, baby? How are you, dude? I'm Great good. shirt on. You Thanks. get it. Welcome Thanks. to the new you studio. You get it. Welcome to the new studio. It's the new studio. What do you guys think? Well, we've been here for uh, about approximately 90 minutes, and uh, so far, so good. Ari, you're looking good. Yeah. You I are mean, looking good, Ari. I Thanks, feel like, I like I'm doing an stuff. RT show right now. Happy birthday to Ari. It was Ari's birthday the Ari other day. Ari made it. 54 made years it. old. Happy Welcome birthday, up, you Jew. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> you Jew. Happy birthday, <laughs> you Jew. Happy birthday, <laughs> you Jew. No, because you're mistaking the lyrics. It's, it's well, no, you. no, that's the original lyrics. No, I think that's actually what it's for. I <laughs> that's think the that's original what it is. lyrics. I'm pretty positive those are the lyrics. So, uh, Ari, we're proud to say that your years of bitching on our tech, uh, on our, 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 our basically our text thread, just to us about taking calls, has finally paid off. We haven't taken one yet. We so got don't. calls, but that's we not can't take yet. calls. That's why we're here in a new studio. Whoa, Aaron, can we confirm this? Wow, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, oh, the new yeah. All Things Comedy Studio, which is beautiful. Too bad we've lost all our listeners, so no one knows about it yet. <laughs> we got thousands and thousands. If you build of it, listeners. they will come. That's they what will. I think, Ari. They will. You, you guys think? Come? You guys think Ron will come right now? What? I think Ron will call. Ron will call in, dude. We're gonna be like Meatloaf, where we like went what big, crash hard, got dead. fat, got and dead. crushed. What happened to Ron? <laughs> Ron, Ron can you call in? Yeah, Ron, call in. We know you listen from Canada. He was probably but, like 22, and then he just got his shit together. He's like, I'm not listening to those damn shits chicks. anymore. Yeah, I'm finally getting laid. Yeah, he was like, What am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing with my life? Uh, this is like get, getting rid of us is like quitting playing with pogs or action figures. You're like, eh, Where are you gonna, gonna be, Ari? Where I'm are gonna you gonna be, be? A man? I'm gonna be in Salt Lake City. Uh, yes. From uh, in fact, February 22nd. At Salt Lake City, Utah, I'm looking for uh, some pot. free ski rentals for me and Ryan O'Neill. And <laughs> pot. All right. All right. And, and pot, and I And marijuana? Imagine. And marijuana, yeah, pop. I don't know what it's like in Salt Lake. Do they have good pot there? I Probably. I mean, if it, there's money, there's pot. It's got to be a great place to grow stuff. Jason Tebow, where think. are you going to be? Uh, I'm going to be singing the national anthem right outside of uh, Hollywood and Highland at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, so come nice. See That's that. a good gig. Yeah, I appreciate that it, man. It pays good. What's it a ham sandwich? No, it doesn't. No, that would be great. Do you have a ham sandwich guy? <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. Have dude. him come to my gig. I got a ham sandwich out of that shit. Oh, well, then. Guys, I'll be eating a ham sandwich on Hollywood and Highland after I sing the national anthem. Oh, I love it, dude. On Saturday, uh, and then I am celebrating Cock Blocktober all of February. So if you're trying to get pussy around me, That's you're going to get cock blocked. That's amazing, dude. So, I love have that. Have you gotten any good cock blocks? Have you gotten any good ones? Uh, only on myself, ironically oh, enough. I've only been cock blocking myself repeatedly. But I fucking love it, dude. Yeah, don't try to get snatched around me, fuck it. face. That's good shit. Guys, uh, tonight's comedy Sam, where are you going to be for the next nine years? <laughs> next nine years. Uh, <laughs> comedy I, I die in seven, so that's, that kind of ruins that. Um, comedy Chaos is tonight. It's sold out, all right? But Friday, I'm at the Jimmy Dore Show at the uh, Flappers. I'm super excited to do that, political show. And then uh, February 22nd, Penthouse presents the Naughty Show. Yes, we got Kenna James, Yoshi and myself okay. and Topco. We're giving away Topco adult toys, vibrators for the ladies. Where is that at? That's going to be at the LA Comedy Club in the Stratosphere. Oh, so, cool. so go Did to you Top. Skip over Kevin James? No, Kenna James, not Kevin oh. James. I mean, they both have great tits. I'll tell you that right now. Good point. Okay. Good Hers, point. His are just real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, uh, and then the following night, both Friday and Saturday night, it is Tim Foil Hat Comedy Night. It's at 11 o'clock, LA Comedy Club, Eddie Bravo, myself, uh, Reed Becker out of uh, Houston is going to be going up, and we're doing a night of conspiracy and comedy, both Friday and Saturday nights. All those tickets, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, are av available at the LA Comedy Club. And that is Gates of the Gates. So what's going on? Thank Talk you, to us. Where are you going to be? What are you going to be doing besides um, banging posts? I got, a, I got a bachelor party. I'm the best man at my buddy's uh, wedding this weekend. 
Oh, oh and nice. that, that's Where? why you're basically out here. I mean, other than no, no, train? no, that's in Montreal. But oh, okay. I'm out. I'm going. I'm I'm out here to train, and I'm gonna. I know I'm spending like all of March here. Nice. Yeah. You come in anytime you want. Hang awesome. out. Yeah, I'll be in. Show sure. some, you know, I'm gonna be right. Are you moving for the puss? Are you moving for training? Training, man. Training. Are you training, moving, training. moving here for tranny puss? Tranny puss. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, some of these look like they they've worked out the kinks on some of these. Have you? Have you seen some of these? Yeah, there's like, one oh, yeah, major yeah, yeah. kink they haven't worked out yet. Yeah, that big dick. But besides that, there's one that. gigantic <laughs> kink that they still haven't figured out to get me involved. One thing I forgot to announce: I'm shooting my special. Oh shit! Where? March oh. 25th, Viper Room, two shows. Oh, We're cool. working out the dates. They'll pro I'm probably gonna do like a, a eight and a ten, or a seven thirty and a nine thirty. So we'll nice. work it out. So that will be available. I'm get the email: Sam Tripoli Live at Gmail. Email me if you want to come. It's going to be about 300 people total for both shows. I'm handpicking everybody. No sensitive people. Nobody, you know, <laughs> just laugh at everything. Just laugh at everything. Are you, are you going to have a questionnaire you got to fill out before you get tickets to your show? Yeah, that's a great point. I should. I want, bl I want blood types, too. <laughs> She's like, I need to taste that puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari, what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Are you going to get romantic with whatever fucking chuckle fucker you're hanging out with? No, I've decided this year, Valentine's Day, I'm just going to do spots and uh, enjoy myself and uh, not go by a fucking state-run media holiday. Oh, oh, tinfoil hat, different podcast, dude, different podcast. Um, do you guys think that chicks who don't have boyfriends on Valentine's Day tend to give it up at all? Or they just lock it down with cats and ice cream? I think th it, this, like... It's, it's like a big week. Like, it's like around, like, people are thinking about it, and I think there's a lot of fucking going on. A lot of fucking. Do the girls feel <clears throat> bad? Do they feel good? I think so. I, th I think so. I, don't th I think they feel bad, and that's kind of why the fucking's going on. Yeah, they're like, fuck I, it, I'm going to yeah. fuck my way up. Feeling bad is, is more of a catalyst. Yeah, than yeah, yeah, good, yeah. You know? I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Dude, I've decided this year I'm going to save up all my chlamydia calls and uh, give them all out on Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, that's All great. the, uh, hey, you got to get tested. I heard something. That could be the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my life. That would be great. Chlamydia, <laughs> Chlamydia Tuesday. Why are you calling today? Because I care and I don't want you to go untreated anymore. Yeah. I don't want you to give it to anybody else on a special holiday. So yeah, I don't want to fuck up your night. Mickey, any uh, rumor to that you're Misha Tate's baby's daddy? Any rumor it's to that that you've found that? It's, it's not, not true. No. Did you take a shot at it? Is she pregnant? She yeah. is. She yep. is. Everybody's yep. pregnant. There Nobody pulls cake. out anymore. Yep. Cupcakes out of the Speaking game. Speaking of which, where's fighting Annie? She's probably giving birth right as yeah. we speak. That's great. How, when is she getting birth? That's so ridiculous that she's fucking pregnant. Why? What do you mean? It's our fault. Are you excited or sad for them? Because we got her on this show and then we introduced them to each other. And then next thing you know. No, your writers had to fuck our co-host and it ruined everything. Ari. Yeah. What do you guys say? It's the first punch drunk baby that it hasn't wasn't been a bit of What do you? What, are, what are our numbers up to, by the way? For How what? many have you had, Ari? My numbers? Abortions. Abortions. Oh, two. Okay. Two. What are you Jesus up to? Christ. What are you up to? Uh, point five. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? I push her down the flight of stairs. Okay. <laughs> I ain't got that kind of paper. I ain't got that kind of paper. <laughs> uh, I'm at two. Uh, I almost had one, scheduled it, and then she, that's why I say 0. .5, and then she had Fell her. Fell down the stairs? And then she had an accident. Oh, that's so great. That's <laughs> but, uh, so great. But I was I was very close. I was very close at a very there's young a, age. There's a chick in Jersey. Her whole scam was telling dude she's pregnant, so they'd throw her $300. So she's literally fucking everything, letting them blow inside her, but and then she'd be like, oh, I'm pregnant. She should be so, she, you're like, how about just be a hooker and charge five? How about just do porn? I like her idea better, honestly. It works better. I know a, I know a lot of girls who've told me they've like hooked up with a guy and then been like, I need plan B, and then not bought plan B, but that was like their breakfast for the next day. I get that, dude. 50 bucks? Like, like, give me, you know okay. Saying? 50 <laughs> bucks? Yeah. These girls are scamming. I've, I've heard that, that. I think it's a Jersey thing. I've heard that from that like is three a, or That four sounds people. like a Jersey thing. I think my thing. cousin did that too. It sounds <laughs> like, like a Jersey no. thing. When yeah. did you guys have that talk during what, Thanksgiving? I know. So what um, you been up to? Yeah. Well, I'm charging guys <laughs> yeah. 50 bucks not to fucking have their kid. Yeah, they yeah, call yeah, it yeah. Scam B. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, we all have family members. We all have female family members. And like, do we think any of our family members are just sluts? Do we have oh, a thing? Oh, gotta be, right? Right? Like, which one of yeah. us? I know I had a couple cousins. It's more like, which just, ones aren't in my family? My cousin, this was like, this has to be 21 years ago. 
had a kid and it came out pretty dark. And she's like, well, we're Italian. We're like, we're not that Italian. We're not Afro Italian. We're not that. F- fuck, man. Came you, out. She cheated on him. No, got, no Italians can dunk in the sixth grade. Yeah. Can we acknowledge yeah. that? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. You yeah. guys Italian remember, remember, remember my boy Bill? Who come, oh, Wild came Bill. In yeah, uh, Wild Bill. Yeah. Is, Where is Wild Bill? He's good. Bill. He moved back to the East Coast. Did you guys break up? What no, 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 no. We're just, yeah. It's, um, Can't take I'm the sun? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's doing a lot of work in New York. But his, uh, his cousin what is uh, a Puerto Rican chick from New York. Her, as a child, she said, I'm going to get me a rapper or a ball player. And she now has kids with Fabulous, the rapper. Really? Yeah. See, that's called that's her, that was her. That's that called was her, visionaries. Yeah, she, you know what I mean? She, yeah, she's a millionaire. She's, she's having a good Visionaries. Yeah. She got her a rapper. A vision board with just like black dick and fucking. Yeah, that's <laughs> so Chains. funny, dude. Chains. <laughs> black dick on your vision board. Chains. So, so that's so interesting because rappers are a crapshoot. Yeah, I feel like some of these chicks get knocked up by famous guys without doing like credit checks. First. You want the rapper that wants to be a producer? I'll That's take where your the longer money is. Oh, she's the best. Yeah, Don't she even rifles get me through them. Oh, she's so great. Yeah, but she's such a horrible human being. Like. Pink? Like, well, I mean, like, I don't think she's a bad person, but she well, like, hold on, hold on. can I back up? Can I back up to a horrible human being? Well, I, I well, my <laughs> point is that she does this <laughs> slut walk, right? She does this slut walk, Ari. She's like, we can walk and, you know, because just because we like to have sex doesn't mean we're sluts. And like, no one's really calling you that. No one's like, oh, look who's here. The fucking sluts here. I oh, bet you a lot suck of our are. dick, slut what? girl. I bet her Instagram Maybe thing is got, just people shitting Yeah, that, that can't fuck her. But the notion sure. that, but I'm saying that people Amber are saying Rose it. is like this oppressed person. And then you see her Instagram. She's like, she looks like the a Joker finger blasting herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, yeah. what, what are we fucking talking about here? What do you, I mean, like, yeah. who's calling? That's like her niche, man. The you know only, what I mean? Like, it's that, yeah. It's the only crazy. reason they hate girls, the only reason people la- give girls shit who are doing the, the walk of shame home is because you fucked a guy and he wouldn't give you a ride home. That's the yeah. only reason to laugh at them, right? They yeah. didn't get a fuck. They're like, okay, I'll drive. Or even no, you. Also, Uber. even if you don't think being a slut is, is terrible, it's still kind of s- silly to watch somebody in high heels and a fucking glitter dress at 1045 a.m. True. True, holding their shoes in their hand. Well, they should negotiate that in Uber too, like a Plan B in an Uber. That should be like uh, yeah, the yeah, Jeter yeah. gift. You know, how Jeter would get gifts out. Like yeah, that's fine. A bat. Here's a Plan B signed by Tripoli and Uber home. Take care of it. And I'd I'd watch her do it. Take the pill now. Yeah. You yeah. want to leave or you don't want to leave? Take the I pill mean, you can leave in a bag. Plan B omelets. Yeah. You can leave in a bag, or you can take this pill and kick rocks. I do joke <laughs> about how I don't do coke rocks. anymore. But I like to fucking crush up Plan B, put in baggies, make chicks do rails of Plan B <laughs> yeah, yeah. while I blast inside yeah. them. And it would like, be nice oh. to snort Plan B. It would be really nice, actually. And girls laugh at that, and then <laughs> some girls get... Why would it be get, nice? So that'd be a terrible nosebleed. Why would it be nice, sorry? Because it's... Because uh, you it's have that like, and roll. It's like two habits in one. It's like, it's like uh, you know, when they have non-alcoholic beer. Does Plan B make girls bleed out of their vagina? No. Okay. It just... I think it just blocks... It does. It no, blocks no, 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 no. Oh, this no. should be fun. Dissolve Guys the trying to figure out plan B. <laughs> Johnny, what is plan baby. B? It dissolves the baby and little pieces come out. You can see fingernails and like little fingers, little piece of fingers, <laughs> oh, and, like ears, little ears. They're all like gooey. It's like an it's acid. Like it forces you, forces you to have your, I believe it forces you to have your period. That's really? what I think. Mm-hmm. Come on. I'm pretty really? sure it's a goo monster. What else, <laughs> what else biologically would make Jealous. sense? I'm going to call my friend who Ari's takes look, it. I mean, Johnny's looking it up right now. Johnny, tell us. You were giving me the uh, Mickey Gall, right? let me ask you a question. Did you switch training camps because the YMCA in fucking Ronkonkoma, New Jersey, was no longer cutting it? Ronkonkoma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, the small town of Ronkonkoma. Um, <laughs> no, nah, man, just there's a lot. Of, there's so much high level out here. It's just so like yeah. working with guys like Joe Schilling. I'm gonna be the sta- living with Eve Edwards. A dude oh, who's had, I love had him. Eighty fights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like uh, a bunch of but just. So I much, love it, so much dude. talent out here. And they're just, do it's you, gonna force you me. All think, do you all think that your training will get better if you ever get a chance to train with David Luoz, Luoz, Luazo, the crow? Uh, hold I'm, on real quick. The, the crow? The drug yeah. acts primarily by stopping the release of an egg from the ovary. It may prevent the sperm from fertilizing the egg. If the fertil- fertilization does occur, plan B one step may prevent fertilization from attaching to Oh, yeah. So it just plays defense. That's the whole thing. 
We need okay. So what's it's like a goalie? Pill? It's a goalie. A pill. It's just a goalie. What's that, Ari? I want the dissolve pill. What's that? What do you mean? The, the what? what he's, talk, he's inventing like you things. You just melt their insides. <laughs> yes, that's what he's talking about. <sighs> You want the battery acid pill? This, this is our Valentine's Day episode, by the way. The baby target. This is pill. what we. This is what she gets for not being here, and for getting not taking Plan B. Yeah, I can't believe she. did. We should like crush up a whole bunch and put in like a, her drink. I wonder what oh, would shit. happen if she took it right now. Would that fuck the baby up? Would it fuck the baby? <laughs> yeah. Up? What would happen? <laughs> Let's prank fight Nanny by putting Plan B. Oh, on that'd be a good so prank. Funny. That'd be a really. What good What if you prank? gave a baby Plan B? What would happen? Oh yeah. Well, we you guys that's should, like should a, add that to that's the like feeding to the, a cow a hamburger. Bag of bets. Bag of bets. Ari, do you think Nazis did some this in B. concentration camps with Jews? They're like, what if we had them try this and I try think, that? I think, I think if they didn't, they were missing out. Yeah, I would say for sure that they should have been doing that. <laughs> so we have to figure out because it is weird to look back at Ari the whole time. So the whole video is yes, it's kind of weird. It is kind of like, weird. This rig should go over here, right above. Ari. I solved it. Can we put a little camera, a little screen here at the front? Can we put a little Maybe put a little, a little fucking uh, All Things Comedy right there. And that way we're all looking And I thought there. we were going to have a chef. Yeah. <laughs> I was told there was a chef. Uh, so no, Mickey, you've been to the old studio and the new studio. What do you think? Um, this is your third studio, right? This... Yeah, is this right? is yep, your third. You were at the Melrose one, and then you were at I the one was, down the I street. I think I was at here. that one two or three times down the street. Yep. But yo, I've been in the punch drunk game since Toad Hop. You really yeah, have. I'm a punch drunk OG. Yeah, that's you true. really are. Absolutely. That's why you're that's here, true. dog. Yeah. You're number one. Ace Before you were in the UFC, you were in the punch drunk game. Fuck Before it. you just had dreams, and you were yeah. like, Oh yeah. What should that's I do? Point. Yeah. What should I fucking do with my life? Do you think like maybe you were listening to the show and you're like, you know what? These guys talk about this MMA stuff. I've never heard anything about. Should I get in the game? Yeah, punch Were you fighting as a kid all the time? Nah, not much. Not much. Do you like, I mean, like nobody likes getting punched, but is it an adrenaline thing? Is it just something where you're like, fuck it, I'm going to punch him more? Because if you punch me once in a fight, I would talk about that forever. Yeah. Like I always want to do Jason Else's fight, but I get so scared when I get in there. I heard you. I thought you did that. I did. And I want to do it again. Yeah, it is scary. But like, I mean, that that's kind of what makes it fun. Like, yeah. you, like even just like doing like the podcast and stuff where you're like, all right, it's now you got to go. Like it's, right, that's, right, that right, shit gets right. you up. It gets you like excited. Yeah. But also I love, yeah, I love to kick and punch and wrestle and choke people too. Yeah. That's just, that's just fun. You know, you know how many women have said that to me? It's <laughs> incredible. I, um, the, you know, obviously I'm fighting not trained killers at all, but for me, the anticipation of getting hit is even worse than actually getting hit. Now the guys hitting you are, trained and it's probably fucking got to hurt but for me it's like oh, oh, oh that's not the bad oh god he's gonna do god you, know, you just start tensing up and you're like yeah fuck of everybody you fought who hit you the hardest um and it doesn't even have to be like you know professional fight it could be sparring or somebody where you're just I like think, god I think damn the, the hardest like the hardest <laughs> hit yeah your probably, dad probably my dad probably kevin gall um but uh Kevin no, I'll tell Gall. you the hardest the hardest shot I think I ever took in a fight was my first amateur fight. It was a accidental headbutt. Like we both went to hit each other at the same time and his head hit me right under my eye. Oh. Uh, like for a second, like I it was like a flawless fight. Like I was completely dominant in every aspect, and then I was like kind of felt wobbled, like from like the yeah. his head right like going to my Would head. you say you were turning on to queer street? Um yeah, I was I was turning down that road. No, I was, like, nah, I was good. Was I was your good. ways I going was like, Whoa. in two hundred feet, turn down queer street. Yeah, I've I've never been like knocked out or like even close to that. But like, I got you, you'll out get once. here where you're like being like you'll hear like a you get like a like, and then and then it's like all right now I kind of like that. And then you're like all right now you're in the fight. Yeah. Now it's like now you're you're forced you to focus on only one thing. Dude, I feel the same way. I feel the same way on drugs. When you're on drugs and you go like oh fuck I took too much I took too much and you gotta like excuse yourself and go to another room and just like oh you take a knee you're like fucking out of it and then when you're back you're like I'm back let's do all the drugs. <laughs> what are the drugs you enjoy doing the most, Ari? You don't uh, like coke. Yeah. You don't like heroin. Who likes heroin? Nobody likes. It. I mean, obviously, a lot of people like it. <laughs> That's true. People they like it dying. to death. I, I, I'm, I'm so blessed. I hate guy. needles. I never got. I'm a go fast guy. That's why I like cocaine. And chicks with. I'm, never, I'm, I'm a never chill out coke. guy. That's never why I like coke. pot and booze. I'm not. I never liked speedy things because I feel like I'm naturally like that. So then, if I'm like do coke or anything like that, I'm just this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just don't do Let anything. Let me see that again. What's that look? <laughs> I just don't do anything. Coke, you know what I mean? 
I can't even put words together because it's too much because I'm naturally like that. So I like the pod and the, you know, the chill out shit. So now in, in MMA, they've gotten rid of testing for weed now, right? Because it's pretty um, much legal. I don't legal. think it's legal in New York. Is it legal in New York? Somebody Ari? tell the Diaz brothers. Ari, is it legal in New York? Wait. It's it, no, it's it's not it's not a criminal charge. It's a, it's a uh, just like it was in L.A. When like, a like a parking ticket. You it's, get you get a ticket citation. But if you're white, it's legal. It's oh, been cool. legal. Wow. So is rape. <laughs> so is rape. Yeah. It, really yeah. it really is. Apparently, it racial rape. It really is. Apparently, it really is. It's crazy. It's crazy, dude. Not a lot of black people getting me too. They all got thrown in jail on one accusation. They let these people rape 70, 80, 90 times, except for Cosby. Yeah, they got to make up for black people getting Cosby caught. Was so Cosby good. was the whitest. He's so white. He's so yeah. white. Cosby he's was so whiter white. than anybody. Cosby he's... was calling Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy, telling them not to use curse words on stage. That's the That's the whitest thing. move you can do. That's a yeah. honky move right there. Well, it's yeah. like we said, I've Malarkey. said before. <laughs> not, Malarkey. <laughs> not all clean comics are assholes, but most asshole comics are clean. We're clean. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Most, not all, not all, but you know, the asshole on the road is like, uh, nope, nobody's with me. Ari, why does it look like you clean your place up? Like you painted it? Or I think it's just different? an HD for once. Usually oh. we got him in standard yeah, death. Yeah. So we should take a caller. Can we take a caller? Can we, can you put out on our Twitter that we have callers, Johnny? I think Johnny's sad he's over there now. Johnny, do you feel like How's that stadium, the by the way? Amazing. Isn't it great? Amazing. I've heard it's great. They got, so if this is if this is the fucking if this is the well how would you put uh up here, like inside like if you're looking up at this, um it's a circular screen. Yeah, so I know. Any, you can see evenly the fucking big jumbotron. Yeah, that's pretty it's pretty amazing. I think the Rams um stadium's gonna be amazing. Whose house? That whole complex. The LA Rams. Oh, I'm sorry, whose house? Rams. Rams house is the chant. <laughs> Okay. I don't know where we're going with that. Did the, I miss uh, something? Yeah, Who's house? house? That's a big chance. Ram it. Come on now. Ram it, ram it. The whole Remember grounds that? looks cool. What? The whole grounds around it looks cool. Oh, and yeah. ESPN is going to be out of there. Yeah. They're moving their whole corporate Oh, they're leaving the from uh, Staples Center? Yeah, their whole corporate thing is going to be right there. Their whole West Coast operations is going to be. What's your really? team again? Giants. Giants. Yeah, yeah. You want them to keep Eli? Um, I mean, yeah, I love Eli, but you know, how's your feelings suck. about having a Jew thrown? The they ball don't have anyone to put up in which, there. Which, uh, which Jew? Is Rosen. Going? You guys are going to probably get Rosen. Is that right? Yeah. All right. I, do they have that high of a pick? They have the number two. Oh, no shit. Because and there, he's already expressed. He does want to play in Cleveland. Bust. Bust. Who does? I disagree, dude. I disagree. I, I number two. He's are a number two pick. Are he's a second round pick. Who? Rosen? Rosen? Josh. Rosen. No, he's Josh, not, dude. Smart, intelligent player, lack of talent, Rosen. He's a great quarterback, dude. And that's dude, why, Rosen you know what? This is like when a hot chick walks coverage. into a party and there's another hot chick in there. This is a Jew against Jew crime right here. Yeah. I can throw better than him. See, that's exactly what it is. Then I look, why is he not? It's challenge. like him saying I look better in that I dress than Sheeta. Yeah. That's not, what's happening. Throw challenge. You're hilarious, Ari. You want to challenge him to a throw off? I have challenged him. Let's go to throw off at Putt Putt in Maryland in, in uh, Aspen. You Park. should tweet that, Ari. Oh, that's right. Ball. You can't. Ari, can right, what's going on? Are I you... have the high score. I've had the high score for years. Uh, I'm putting the challenge out. If Josh Rosen wants to take my high score, you're more than welcome to. You can't do it. <laughs> what synagogues are you going to go to? What's the synagogue where all the powerful Jews in uh, New York go? Um, I think it's called Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it's called. All right, have you hit a synagogue while you've been out there? Had the high five, say hello. No, I got a, a Molotov cocktail, and then I was like scoping out places, and then um, wow, and then Jesus! I have the best story. You gotta walk in with that, bro. <laughs> the energy for that is like I should have told you this yesterday. Energy. So, <laughs> so Ryan Davis is doing a uh, gig uh, working for Dana, and he's t he's telling me the story. And, Dana uh, White. He, st he starts talking about the podcast, and he's talked to this, this kid who grew up in L.A., this Mexican kid who grew up in L.A. He was, like, working on this project with Dana. And somehow Ari Shafir's name comes up. And the guy goes, Thank you. Ari Shafir? The Mexican goes, yeah. He goes, the amazing racist? He goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, do you know 
That guy was the boogeyman when I grew up. When we were growing up, uh, we would go, hey, dude, that fucking Amazing Race is going to come get you, dog. <laughs> if you don't fucking play, the Amazing Race is going to come and fucking take you out of the country. That's you the were best. The, you were the boogeyman to a whole, like, neighborhood yeah. of wow. Mexicans. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> if you say his name three times, dog. His nose shows up. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? Ari was the fucking boogeyman. Hey, dog, he's going to come smell that. you out of the country, dog. Hey, Ari, I have you ever that. thought about doing the Amazing Oasis uh, healing tour? Or where no, you go where, and where, heal, try to heal wounds? Or, where are they now? Oh, that'd be so... You know, I've always wanted to do a Where Are They Now with the Two Chicks, One Cup. Like sure. yeah, where are they now? Those chicks, their PA person fucked overdosed on heroin. Probably, probably they should have been touring oh, the country. They're both dead as fuck. <laughs> Mickey's so right. <laughs> that's e. Coli the only answer. The that's the only, only like. answer. That's that the would only be a answer. Funny ass sketch, huh? Yeah, yeah. You just get two like chicks going. I was in college. I need the money. I just it's not who I am anymore. Ugh. It's not what I do. I don't eat fucking poop on my friend's butts anymore. I always want to do a uh, uh, undercover boss, you know that show? But it's the Burger King guy with the big ass head, you know? But he just has a big ass fake mustache on top of his, you know what I mean? I've always <laughs> like wanted to do it's clearly the Burger King guy. Jesus Christ. I thought that'd be the funniest one where Jesus comes to a church and he's like just walking around. He's like, what's going on here? I don't know, man. We're just, look at that kid pretty hot. <laughs> 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 In one sentence in your sketch, Jesus is a child molester. No, Jesus is asking the guys who are working there what's going on. That's oh. undercover boss. Oh, undercover boss. I see what you're saying. They I thought you were saying Jesus walks into it. Yeah, I thought yeah, I did too. Jesus ain't down with the diddling, homeboy. Hey, we got our first call. Let's see how this works. Oh, shit. We got a call. Oh, shit. First call. First, first call. call. New studio. You're on with Punch Drunk Sports. Look at this. Hey. Hello. Yes. Welcome, Annie. Yes. All right, you can hear that? You can. Hello, sir. How's it going, boys? So what's up? You, you got a new studio? You call for Dean Del Rey? Yeah. Dean Del Rey. <laughs> Always, man. <laughs> I know Axel oh, Rose. Yeah. We shared a burrito in Pacoima. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the first caller in a new studio, dude. How's and it you're feel? killing it so far. Wow us. And you're gone. Yeah. Well, Good. we killed okay, that. Okay, now we got started. We know we can pick up and we can hang up on them. So that's great. Uh, can I just uh, give it up for? I don't Aaron think we hung up. This happen. Like, do we, do we we've hang been up? in purgatory for three years, and it just looks great. Now, did, is that you, Johnny? Are you running that? Aaron, do you guys have mics over there as well? No. Well, we got to fix that. Yeah. Because we talk to you guys too much. We need to fucking fix that. Stop the show. Fucking Stat. fix that now. Okay? Actually, let's just tear this whole fucking place apart. Raise your yeah. hand if you got talked to about not destroying this place. <laughs> All right, we both got a talking to about. Okay, well, now look, what do you guys. mean about not destroying? What do you mean about not throwing piss around and shit like that? Baby oil, yeah, urine, yeah, uh, cocks, yeah, fires, explosions. You were there for the explosion yeah, of the yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was outside. That was outside. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I said. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, we got another call. Yeah, we have Better great. We have great one. video of that explosion. Yeah, too. uh huh. Yeah, I've seen actually, it several yeah. times. I gotta send that to you. Hi, guys. you're on with Punch Drunk Sports. Mickey Gall's here on, talking. Uh, Facebook fucking crazy. No, we have an actual good oh, camera. Oh, cool. Got Bill Hi, got you're it. here. Oh, well. Hey, what's up? I got hung up on. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> welcome to Punch Drunk. I like that. <laughs> I like that. You came back welcome for more. To the program, fuck you, Johnny. Bitch. Hanging up on me. Oh fuck, Johnny called you out, Johnny. Oh shit. I heard him say it. Oh man. <laughs> oh, oh come some... on, dude. Lot... We can't <laughs> do this. We can't do that. That's a wrinkly no, sack. No, okay, dude, it looks like a wrinkly sack. sack. It looks like an Here's old man on the sea. The problem. <laughs> look at the look enough, at the bitches. fucking window right there. It's rain <laughs> sight enough. to that fucking <laughs> Dick, man. It's going to make everybody. Aaron's over there stewing like they just fucking <laughs> traded for All right. Albert Pujols. Oh, far as hijinks, we can just pan away. All right. Fast enough, bitches. Your dick looks like <laughs> an old man in the sea. <laughs> just guys, we're going to take your calls a little later unless it's very important people. I don't want to hey, just keep going. Hey, Brent Ernst, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what's Hi. up, guys? What's up? What's up? Come in. Oh, Jesus you just Lord. miss Ari's dick. You Is just miss Ari's dick. Yeah. Sit down in here. We're supposed to have a. No, stand chair. right in front of the camera. That looks great. I don't even know where we're at. Look What's at up? That. Look come at in, that face. dude. You can come in. 
Why are you going to sit there hey, like a look, weirdo? We another Jew in. Come so here, many Alex. Jews in one fucking place. Jews. What's up, Mickey? <laughs> hey, what's Mickey. up, man? Brett. Right, nice to meet you. Sit down, dude. No, no, no. Cool. How are you, dude? No way. This is not going to work. So, uh, so he calls me from Vegas. Hey, dude, we got these private parties, porn stars. It's going to be fucking weird. And then it never fucking happens. You can't... You can't call somebody and say, show up to a private porn star, with, private party with porn yeah, stars. You can't say that to where, Tripoli. Where chicks are going to go that's probably like ass ass. That's like telling the five-year-old retarded kid with cancer that uh, Hulk Hogan's coming to your hospital room today. <laughs> yeah, if, if it, it was, doesn't if it was, happen, if it was his life's 80s. over. If it doesn't happen, his life's over. <laughs> I don't think he cares about Hulk Hogan I thought now. <laughs> dead. The Hulkster was coming. Shut up, Billy. Man, Take you are pills. a man of a thousand voices. <laughs> yeah, he's great. <laughs> Fucking my, my, my favorite is the uh, is the uh, the miner. <laughs> yeah, can we hear the miner? Let's hear the laughter of the miner. What miner? Oh, yeah. the guy how you laugh like a coal miner. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What's his name? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> And them gold in them their hills. Yeah. Are you from Jersey? Yeah. Originally. He's from Jersey. You, um, we got Jersey. Everybody's good fight. looking from Jersey. Born, Are you was, from Jersey? San Diego. Oh, close. Close. Born, born, I was San born Diego. in Princeton, but I uh, grew up in Passaic, Patterson, that area, North Jersey. That's nice. nice. Yeah, where are you nice. from? So I'm like the, 20 minutes from Newark. Okay. Oh, yeah. uh, nice. Do you have any chance of going yeah. to Princeton, or that was really out, out of the gate immediately, right? Where is he going? Princeton, because you heard him. Oh, name. you can't hear him, can you? No, I can't. Princeton isn't in Jersey, is it? It is, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course, course it is. It's cool. South Jersey. He said Hi, no, Ari. He said you had no chance Hi, of going Brett. to Princeton. How are you, buddy? How you doing, buddy? Where are you at? I'm in New York City. Oh, nice. Do you miss Cold, Duncan? A slice of pizza. Do you miss Duncan? Spumoni Gardens. He's such a fucking bitch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What happened? Good God. Cause he moved to uh, he moved to New York and I was like let's do a podcast about comparing New York to LA the good and the bad and he was like honestly man I've been thinking about this LA is so shitty it's not even worth talking about like you don't even talk about it it's just irrelevant it's an irrelevant place does that mean and we don't exist anymore year, he is now back living in LA. but why I will tell you I don't see him doing any stand up I never, never see him he's a, he's a two a weeker maybe one he just is a guy who loves doing his podcast and just hanging out with like waif supermodels who could be underage and he likes to shoot bow and arrows that's what he does whatever makes you happy he shoots bow and arrows yeah. by the way you, you say that like it's Never a bad thing <laughs> uh, no we were i was at his p place before he moved to new york and he had a pool and the you know and then but he had Pull a, up a seat man he had well, a actually, we gotta get going man we're, we're, we're in the middle going? of a meeting <laughs> oh okay go. just popped in oh that's cool I just right. haven't seen ari in a while hi ari you miss him much. Up, Look at Ari's head. I Look, miss the you. Propecia is working, Ari. It's working. It looks like you're somewhat heavy. I just want to. I just want to go on record before I leave that I actually took Philly and the money line, and I told you that was gonna hit. I, I took Philly yeah, too. I like that. that I took bet. Philly. I won forty five bucks. Nice. Spent it on a fucking big lap money. Dance big money. By a hot black ass chick. <laughs> All right, listen. Love you guys. I, I gotta go, man. Thank strippers. you. Bye, Ari. Bye, Brett. Hey, nice meeting you. Guys. Bye. Bye hey, nice meeting you. Buddy. Hey, nice meeting you. So um, let's real quick, man. Uh, my no, oh, okay, yeah. Let's do an ad. Let's do an ad. Seat Geek, everybody. Seat Geek for all your ticketing needs, man. It's just that simple. Our friends at Seat Geek have made uh, uh, ticketing just one, two, three. Go to Seat Geek app. Download the Seat Geek app. Use the promo code Punch Drunk. It, it is crazy easy. It is crazy easy. Let's see what's coming here. What are you into? Are you in any concerts or what? Oh, uh, whatever. You look like you like rap rock. Are you I, into rap yeah, rock? Yeah. Hey, if you're in LA, you want to go to the dunk contest? Oh, go to the go to the All Star game. Yeah. All Star game uh, dunk contest way, Sam, coming has up. A new, has a new uh, Seat Geek has a new uh, uh, I don't know what it's called. The fucking detail or whatever. A new thing they're offering where they uh, they have a Sibian uh, where you can sit <laughs> on a cock and that's called the Geek. Oh, uh, I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, it's women only, but it's also now they're uh, taking it in hungry. That's hungry a, that's a stadium seat? Yeah, with yeah. The, with yeah. the Sibian attached? It's like, how bad do you want to go to the show, lady? Sit yeah. on this fucking vibrating <laughs> dick. So it's like, you get you take care of everything at once. Yeah. It, it, so it's more, that, that should be a more expensive ticket. Well, you know, these chicks. Yeah, it costs more than a regular ticket for sure. Uh, and it's the dildos made of cocaine. Look at the price of these tickets. Because you know that the All-Star Game is, the, as Brody calls it, the Black Super Bowl. Yeah. It's where there are 100,000 people come into town yeah. for this. And uh, it's chaos. Yeah. It is chaos. 
some of the hottest black strippers come into town. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. look at the prices of these things. Pla- Plan B should sponsor that. Yeah. Uh, oh, the, nobody's using Plan B. And this yeah. week, it's all about getting pregnant. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Everybody, this is everybody's right. lottery week. Yeah. Can I get We're the gonna, lottery? Nine, nine months from this week is going to be a little boom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Arizona, sure. a lot of little baby Kyrie's <laughs> getting born. <laughs> Uh, so we so go to SeatGeek. I mean, do you, what's your favorite band? Are they gonna have, have a band? Is that four gonna be purple you don't or really red? Like music? You know nah, what else is like that? Chris D'Elia. He's not really a music guy. I I, I like I listen, but I, yeah, I don't weird. have like you know like you don't know, have I'm like, like if I could see with. one act right now, mm. insane clown posse. Would, I've been I've been like Uncle, Uncle Murda. Uncle Murda, look that up. Guys, no Uncle Murda. Where's Uncle, Uncle Murda? Murda? How do you spell that, Uncle? Murder? You guys never heard Uncle Murder? No, dude, look at me. He's a he's a he's a Brooklyn uh, rapper. Oh no, Uncle Murder. He's good. No bummer. You guys never heard of? He does like these yearly wrap ups where he like he like talks shit about everything that happened and like put in like the whole year. Yeah, oh, it's it's really, really funny. It's really funny. He looks, he looks like upset. He's, yeah, he's, he's got a couple bodies on. You know, he's put a, he's a, he's, he's put in his time. Yeah. If you want to go see Uncle Murder, you just go to SeatGeek. Put in Uncle Murda, which obviously is not spelled like murder. It's with an A, because that makes it different. And well, it's that, not racist. What? Obviously, it's with an A. No one thought it was Uncle Murder with an R E R. Right, That's right. That's the racist way to say it. Yeah, right. Was that racist, what I said? Yeah, you can't say murder. Do not buy those Giants Dodgers tickets on April 1st. That is a practical joke. That is April Fool's Day. Yeah, I mean it's great. I always get my tickets. Okay, Excited okay, for okay, baseball. Okay, 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 good enough, good enough, good enough. All right, let's move on. All right, Seat Geek, use the promo code Punch Drunk and get your tickets. Twenty dollars off. Okay, let's off. talk $20. about two things that we got to get to while okay. while here. The, the Cavs trade. It's huge. It's the hugest thing in basketball right now. All these trades. What the fuck is up with the fucking? East? Fill me in. Fill me in. Well, basically, the Cavs traded half their team. The Cavs signed made half some. Their team. The Cavs signed some great players from two thousand eight. Okay. And they signed all these guys like Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, Wade, Derrick and, yeah. Rose, Derek Rose. Sure. Isaiah Thomas. These guys are all great players. Thomas but, is younger, though. Yeah, Thomas is Thomas younger. Is younger. But, but he I wasn't think, working out. He, no, because he's a ball-dominant guy. And I'm telling you, Doesn't dude, play defense. when you go from playing the Celtics, right, in these high, high-pressure high playoff things, and then you're just supposed to go hang out with the other team after, I don't think it's that easy. I think these guys get invested. I'm- what? Kevin Durant handled it. Well, I think Kevin. I personally think Kevin Durant threw the series, and that's my opinion. He threw the series. He didn't want to play with Russell Westbrook anymore, and he wanted to go play for the Warriors, and he threw the fucking series. But uh, you the, know, uh, opinions of Sam Tripoli do not represent the opinions of Punch Drunk Sports. No, why, they do one hundred percent. No, why? Why couldn't they win and he could go play? Because if you to say he threw the series implies really he far, could have won and chose to an not emotional, win. Emotional. I don't know one guy who's who's a main player on a team that wins a championship or goes to a championship that leaves the team. There's almost this keep together, see how far you can go. I don't think you wanted to do that. It's like when it's when LeBron James after Delon. Oh dude, dude. I heard some crazy ass shit. The fuck just happened to you? Oh, I got, I got some good <laughs> for you. Ari. <laughs> the second got one. Ari, I lightning. got some good yeah. for fucking you. You want to hear this? Guess what? Kids in Portugal fuck used yeah, to call you the, the okay. fucking Yeti. So I'm at the, uh, I'm at the comedy store and there's uh, this fucking, this chick who uh, hangs out at the comedy store. Her name is Kim. It's Kim. She's got the biggest fucking tits. She works with at the improv. I mean, she's just got monster tits. And of course, there's this drunk black guy following her behind her. And I recognize him from this TV show. And I'm not going to say what show it is because he's pretty shit based when he's talking to me. So I'm like, hey, do I like your shit? And he thought I was being phony, and I was—I didn't really know who he is. I'm like, I'm a big NBA a fan. A current show right now? Yeah, I'm, I love your show. I'm a big NBA fan, blah, blah, blah. And we start talking. And I go, you know, this shit going on with, with LeBron right now and the Cavs, this is why Kyrie left. And he goes, uh-uh. That isn't why Kyrie left. I know why Kyrie left. I go, what? He goes, I have some really good intel. Someone on the inside, and they told me. We're going to play a game. Why did LeBron James, why did Kyrie Irving force a trade out of... They fucked the same girl? What? They fucked the same girl? Bing, bing, bing. Fuck someone's LeBron wife. fucked his girl. What? His girl, dude. And that happens all the time on the Cavs, dude. 
all the time. They're like the Cleveland cuckolds. They fucking yeah. all just fuck each other, and he forced his way out. And that's why this whole thing about Kyrie and poor LeBron, it's like LeBron, if, if it's true, and he goes, I got really good sources, if it's true. Wow. And then who else did that happen with? That was Steve Nash, and was it Jason Richardson or no, Richard it was, Jefferson? Uh, no, no, no. It was a guy who used to be on the, the – the, uh, I think it's one of those that just – No, no, no. It's oh, a light-skinned black kid. Light skin black kid? Yeah, the old Richard guy. That happens a lot in the NBA too. Fisher, that happened with Fisher, and that happened with uh, with Derek Fisher and some other. Cavs all the time. Remember Bynum fucked the assistant coach's girl? Yeah, because there's nothing to do in Cleveland but fuck. It's cold. It's shitty. You can't go anywhere. Same thing, Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Nothing to do there. I grew up in that neck of the woods. What about Indianapolis? There's nothing to do but stay inside and fuck. They they had that core, and somebody fucked somebody else, and that was it. Yeah. That's what happens. Remember Paul Gasol when he couldn't play and it turned out somebody on the Lakers fucked his girl? Remember then people got fucking really weirded out? And I think it might have been the same guy. Who was that fucking, who was the guy that they thought knocked up Steve Nash's uh, girl? Yeah, I like his name. I'd like when he got, bro- when he, when they, when the baby came out, he's like, oh, fuck. Uh, I know who that is. I'm out, dog. Yeah. And yeah. he fucking left. Who's that? Yeah, it was some fucking I forget. And I he's light skinned. He was a score. He came off the bench, shooting guard. I just can't remember his fucking name. Surprise! Oh, they're saying it was Jason Richardson. That's oh. what I heard. Oh man! Oh, and look how dark that I dude know. is. There's no There's way. There's no That's you. You can yeah 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 yeah. You can't dilute that. And you know, here's the whole thing, dude. And you know, he always. <laughs> hey. Wait, turn it off. Uh, you hear that? <laughs> People are going to go right. fucking weird. All right, can you mark that time so you know what time we did that? Maybe we could pull that little part later on. It sounded Maybe. awesome. It sounded like somebody was like doing some some porn, uh, compilation porn. You ever watch compilation porn? That's the song they use. Where it's like, uh, 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 <laughs> next shot. <laughs> Nobody's with me on that one? Yeah, so I don't like soundtracks to my porn. I love compilation porn. It's just the hits. Let's get to yeah. the hits. Let's get the weirdness and get to the hits. Uh, so uh, so they traded. Basically, they made uh, they they got all these guys, and then they they're like, it's not working. These guys are all old. They don't want to put up with LeBron shit. LeBron was getting that, his Kobe uh, Bryant uh, moment. Dude, a lot of times that shit doesn't the, the the five superstars doesn't always work in the NBA. No, yeah. you know. You, you have to here's the thing because you need Isaiah role Thomas said it best basketball it's about it's not about basketball which is Isaiah Thomas I they, they the Detroit Pistons it's mm-hmm. about how everybody gets along in that fucking in that locker room and if that you don't chemistry yep and they were saying like the Clippers same thing it was fucking cold and they well, this won like 13 or 20 or some 14 15 or 20 or some shit I feel bad for Blake you can just tell he's miserable dude go from LA to Detroit Detroit Fuck. it's probably better for his game you though to break up with that girl now? what you have to break up with that girl like Kardashian? Kardashian? I don't Man. know they love to follow their dicks they do it all the time they'll follow them She's to a different Detroit and live there come on She's not moving to Detroit. No, dude. She's too young. Be like, you go live there fucking six months. And I'm going to go fuck or other pro you. athletes. I mean, like, dude, if you were a hot chick, wouldn't you fuck? You remember when Kate, uh, Kate Hudson just went on a fuck spree and she was just banging yeah. every actor and musician out there? She was just like, why not? Why not? Why not be right. Katie Manzella on a higher level with fucking more G's? Um, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you're a super hot chick and you don't want to do anything other than fuck pe- people. Back in the day, before you were in the UFC, there was these. Th- it was Ariani and this other blonde that was the the blonde ring girl to crazy. UFC. What? The blonde was crazy. And she was just fucking everybody. Cause just imagine if you were a chick and all these dudes are coming out. I know you're talking just about. I remember. Yeah. Fucking shredded. And you're, they're just like, hey, boom, cock piece is rocking. Like, that's Kid in the Candy Store. That's like us being we're, towel we're, boy in a Victoria's Secrets bathroom. Yeah. Going upstairs with a fighter and then coming down and then going up with another fighter. The only wow. person I've ever seen do that is Brian Callen. One time when we were very young, way back in the day, fuck five chicks in one night. 
He would just grab girls, bring them up, come down, bring them up, come down, bring them up, come down. Champion. Just champion. Viagra. Just, I don't he even, was much I don't even want to fuck that much. <laughs> no, but that, I think four, he was like, maybe three or four in an hour. That'd be cool. <laughs> Joe, just, just a cool three or four. <laughs> just like a half hour, you know, knock out five or six, chill. but that, then I'm out. Something chill. The UFC girls are hot, Romantic. But my opinion is the hottest ones are when they go out foreign and it's not like this feminist bullshit and they just get talking blow up dolls. Like yeah, they're yeah, just yeah. like Bellator did it for a while too. For a long time, Bellator chicks were just porn stars with, you know, who could hold a yeah. sign and walk. And I'm like, that's what I like. That's what you I used to have that French one who was like used to be a, uh, a French Canadian used to be like a like a street hooker, not a street hooker, but like a upscale Nascar, hooker. High Jesus, no wrong with that, no wrong with yeah. that. If I was uh, high, I'd be selling my fucking snatch too. You had cool. your stuff on friends for the last six months. I've been. Tr I couldn't sell my asshole for a fucking ham sandwich right now. Hey, you promised me one ham sandwich at the true. national anthem. Too. I better fucking get lucky. Don't be taking back my ham sandwich, fuck face. I respect the shit out of that. I respect the shit out of that. Yeah, so the trades were fucking crazy, dude. The trades were crazy. I feel like a lot of people got good. You know what? If I was Sacramento, dude, I would trade for. There's Kevin all this Robert. talk about how, oh, now now the Cleveland is in the driver's seat in the East. Like, are they? They played one game. Well, the East, yeah. East is really diluted, dude. There's only three teams in the East. Four, maybe. I mean, the Phillies getting better, but you got Toronto, who's our killers. And if we don't it's talk about cool Larry Nance Jr. is where his dad's jersey that is. That is cool. And that kid can play, man. They got a he good win the dunk squad. Contest. They he got can win the dunk good, contest. For sure, dude. For sure. They got a good squad. Now they have like LeBron can score 20, George Hill can score 20, Hood can score 20, uh, uh, Kevin Love can score 20. Uh, who else they get? They got a fucking bunch of people. You, think they, sent, you think they sent Wade back to Miami? It's just as like a nice thing to yeah, do. He's got nothing left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's like, he wasn't getting plenty of times. Like, get back. That's your right. Yeah, you'll at least it. sell a few tickets on your last three months. And he but dude, people said, people said Cleveland was giving up. They're like, look, they can't compete, so they're giving up and rebuilding. It's like, well, LeBron just did go to fucking six straight fight. Like, why not just continue that streak till it's over and then rebuild? Derrick Rose is like the real problem is between his head. There He's is, a crazy fucking person. My niece, uh, my, uh, my, no, my niece, my cousin's daughter is seven. She does not know an NBA finals without LeBron James being in it. She just thinks he's always going to the finals and that's just the NBA. That's fucking LeBron nuts. James that's playing just, basketball oh. in June her entire life. That's a lot. That's of miles crazy. Too, dude. A lot of miles. Well, his whole, the East has just sucked. The East has sucked. They, they just don't think, I think this year, it's going to be a lot harder for LeBron. You think LeBron James can fight? No. No. You think he can fight? No. Nope. Nope. Uh, I think if you gave him some training, he, he he's athletic. I, don't, I, don't I think know. most I of these got guys. Little, he's got, he should have a little something. You remember Shaq throwing punches? Like, he just, like, throw like this. <laughs> no matter what, though. That's like getting hit by one of those tree monsters in the fucking uh, yeah. uh, Lord of the Rings thing. I mean, it's just so much momentum. It, his fists have to he look like ham, giant hams. Tech it since he was 12. They never let him fight. No one. They never let anybody push him around. That yeah. guy's been coddled. Who are you talking about? LeBron or LeBron. Diesel? LeBron James. But also Shaq's size kind of protected him. No one wanted to fuck with the big guy. Who wants to do that? Yeah. Charles Barkley did. Yeah. Love the yeah. fuck with him. Love yeah, the Barkley. fuck. Didn't they say like Barkley gambled like thirty, lost thirty million dollars in like gambling? Oh, maybe dude. more. He came I to mean, know Jordan, when I was working Jordan there after lot. he dropped a hundred grand. On what? Gambling. In the oh, night. Oh, oh, oh. I thought you meant a PF Chains. He bought 100. I'm like, oh. what do you do? Buy. Uh, I'll take the whole All fucking place. All the dumplings. Place. <laughs> I'll take the whole fucking place. All the dumplings. <laughs> All the dumplings. So, wait. I feel like we just reached the punch drunk sports quota. When are you guys shoving hot dogs up each other's oh, asses? Oh, look at oh, you. Here it comes. Here it comes. What's going on with and that? And they're excited about that happening. I, in and I got to say, as, I a, as, say. A, as a, you know, a fan of the show, a longtime listener, I don't believe Sam's going to do it. Oh, a lot do you of believe Ari's going to yeah. do it? A lot of people I think Ari will for sure do it. Now, did you hear my new twist that I'm willing to do for Ari? I, I don't think I would do it. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can I, I just wouldn't tell you something, uh, though? If he puts take a, a soft look one, at us. If he puts a soft one in his ass halfway, I'll take a bite out of it. The half that's sticking <laughs> out. Here's the thing, dude. I believe that, too. Here's the thing. <laughs> and then he, owes, it off. <laughs> he owes three. 
He owes three. You owe mm -hmm. three? He owes two. It's not chance. I missed I my chance. But I just feel like he's much more comfortable with like that. Oh, I, I know what the third one is. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Well, I don't want to, you know, I, I'm going to do it. I have to do it. What do you he mean? Owes, you, you guys going to like loop it up? Over a year. Over where, a year. What do you mean you missed your chance? What do you mean you missed your chance? Because uh, I was in a bar. And the uh, Olympic ceremony was on. The fucking Ooh, that would have been. I don't know if I accept that. That's I don't too either, easy, dude. It's too easy, dude. It, it has to be well, a random. Be, I thought we said on a bus or a train. Well, we just said not at a place where it would naturally be going. And at, during the Olympics, a USA <laughs> chant in a sports bar couldn't be more pretty, typical. Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair I'm fair surprised enough. you didn't walk into it already bar. happening and record it and say you started it. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna be on the subway and go, hey. America just won the gold and whatever. I think that's fair. I'm all right with that. That's, that's fair. That's well, can very I, fair. I think that's what okay. What is the number of people he has to get to do it? It's got to be 2,000. Shut up. Man. What number? <laughs> 10? 10? 5? Yeah. 10. I mean, it really depends where Ten. it is. Cool. If, you're, if you're on a bus train and there's only seven people on there, but you get a good USA chant going, I'm, I'd be willing to accept that. But if you're in a fucking full train and it's a 500 people in there and only two people do it, that doesn't count. What train is he taking with 500 people? Who knows? He's, he's always in China. You could get a good. That's a good. If point. you got one going in China, That's I would be point. floored. That's a good point. That'd that be would be funny, dude. I so would are you, you guys gonna do it in this new studio? Yeah, they're you excited do it out about there it. at that little. Uh, uh, I don't ooh. know. No, no, no. We're gonna do it in the studio. Aaron has to smell it. Aaron has to Aaron's smell it. Aaron's not gonna be cool with that. Here's what Al I don't Magical's like. Magical's never gonna use us in anything ever again. We need. Uh, what has he used in us with us before? My point is, like, I'd like to be. Rudolph wants to play in the reindeer game once in a while. Well, you're saying Aaron wants to shove a thing up his ass too? Yes, oh, Aaron, wow. are you in? Aaron, we can't see him Can from I where he is, but I think the... he's giving us a Who thumbs up. Who's... What a shocker! Aaron said no. Can I... <laughs> I'm going to get my friend to shove hot dogs up my butt. I am willing to say, since I won this bet, that you both can pick whoever you want. You guys I get like your that. own caddy. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Johnny, when are we? Red is easy. When are we electrocuting yeah. is his yours? nuts? And when is Never he that's happened. Come on, dude. You got to do it before we do the hot dog. You have to pay those off. I'm not doing the nuts. We, uh, we, yeah, we are. You, no, we're not. That, yeah. You got to read what the card what? says. It says neck or nuts. No, that's and not. And no, below it in no, parentheses, no. it says. You added that, dude. No, no, yeah, we did. It said, if you have bullshit. the balls and I don't have the balls. Bullshit. Bullshit. That's bullshit. That we're not tasing my balls. I said I'll wear a bullshit. shot collar. Fine. You want pussy out? I'm fine with it. He's a pussy, and then I don't want to be called the fucking Welcher because I paid all my bets, okay? Hey, well, for once, you did, except the old ones, but you just, we've already decided you're never going to pay those off, oh, so let's move on. shut the fuck but up. Mickey, I know one thing. E2 Who is Brute. your next fight? Would you be willing to have him come in and pick a bag of bets between you two? Um, well, what? Who's your next fight, and would he be willing to come in and I, I don't know who it is yet, but, uh, yeah, I would totally be open to that. That'd that would be, be unbelievable. <laughs> That'd if you guys so were paying off a bag of bets after your fight, okay. I tried to get Sage to do a uh, loser shaves their head. Oh, I do remember I that. that. Yeah. You would look better yeah, bald than he would. Like, oh. Yeah. You would look. You probably. I imagine you've been bald a lot. No. Or like. But yeah, I've, I've had down. some crew cuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sage is his hair is like it seems like his his strength. Yeah, yeah. He's he seems kind of vain. What do you think's going on with the UFC the right other now? Way. I would go the other way and go. Loser has to get white dreads for a year. Oh, cornrows? Mm. That'd be hilarious, dude. Yeah, I white love cornrows. Just white, a couple yeah. white boys. We're trying to, yeah. White dreads. We're crazy. Just everything about you says you play hacky sack. Cornrows yeah, exactly. would be great. <laughs> That'd be great. But cornrows look like you're like, you know, you're like growing your hair out and like having that for fighting. White dreads looks like you've got to get your shit together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love it, dude. I think it would be. Uh, 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 so do we have a date, guys? No, it's we have, do we have anything be... going here? Because like no, this, like this is a big one. I gotta one. pay these LA. guys off. Back to LA. Okay. I'll pay him off, but I'm not shocking my balls. Well, I just I've said, said that repeatedly. So weird, That's not what when, the bet when is. When Ari's in LA, if you it has listen to, go to that down. episode, if you listen to that entire episode, I don't want to hear it. All right. 
You when know, Ari's in LA, you guys got to do it. I'm not I'm saying I wear a shot shit. collar the whole time. No, I'm saying it's dangerous out. to tase my balls repeatedly. Okay, man, it's, it's not fucking healthy to put a hot dog up my ass. <laughs> it's a lot healthier no, than this. No, it's not. No, it's sure not. it is. In a People condom. Been porn have been fucking shocking balls forever, dude. It's not fuck. We're not gonna put an electric and hook no. you up to a fucking. What's generator. gonna happen is you're gonna shock my balls Ball every thirty shot. seconds Ball for two shot. straight hours. No, Ball shot. And then you're gonna half ass put a hot dog in your ass. No. Well, that's not true. While I'm getting a hot dog shoved up my ass, I'm going to shock your balls. And that'll be the greatest show ever. I bet I bet Sam does the hot dog in his ass like when you pretend to put like, I'll the do fork that, in Dan. your mouth. Like. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. How about we do this? How about we shock your balls when he puts a hot dog in his ass? We all do that on the bus while I start a USA channel. There we go. <laughs> while I'm dressed like a tranny? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Knock them all out. Yes. Knock them all out at once. Yes. Yes. When you come See, to LA, Ari, it all works. Uh, I don't know. Maybe on the way back from Australia or the way to Australia, but that won't be till like May or April. Yeah. Okay. Hey, you're not here for a while. I love it. That'll I think be... the fans could wait till May or April. It's going to happen. Dude. I mean, the longer we wait, the more we get to talk about it, the more yeah. content we have. Yeah. I'm going to do it. It's uh, upsetting to me. I'm sorry yeah. I lost because I was practicing. What are the best side odds on Sam Trilly pushing out of this? Bet we'd DSI. To talk, yeah, we'd have to talk to our friends at Bet DSI. I'm just. The odds are very low of you pussing out on it. The odds are actually higher of you liking it. People are thinking Ari's going to actually like enjoy this. <laughs> I know he's not going to enjoy it. Ren is easy. That's your caddy, right? Yeah. I want him working in and out. A little in and out. <laughs> I don't know who I'm going to get. Might get Fight pregnant. Nanny, she's, pregnant. Oh, she's not pregnant. She won't be pregnant anymore. Mm. I'll find a pregnant chick in a bikini to do it. Nice. And while we play that song, I seen footage. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Should be interesting. Should. I like this. ATC? Uh-huh. Yeah. This I is like a nice it. studio. And I I'm like not. It, I, it really is nice. I like it too. I wish we could see Aaron more. I wish they were mic'd over there. And I wish we didn't have to look at Ari backwards. I like Aaron in a cage. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the backwards thing is a little weird. Unless we can put the computer on that side and like. I'm just going to look at you right there. I like that. I like that. I do think we should use this to put a video on there. But, you know, we can't. This is just the first week of the studio. The studio's going to go. Day two. It's day two. wonderful things. Well, it's only day two. You know? What do you got next? What do you mean? What's your next fight? I don't have I don't have anything uh, set yet. I think I'm gonna fight You're internet. First like about in it. calls the drop by the UFC. <laughs> uh, Breaking news. Are you news. excited yeah, about right. your fighter in yeah, it? Right. Is that cool? You're what? in the fight in the video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I saw that. That's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. What are your strengths on there? What are your weaknesses? And what pissed you off? I'm, I, I I didn't get too pissed. Um, it was it was all pretty down the line. They had my my grappling really good, and then. My Ooh. strike was just all right. Have you done any like fought like fucking heavyweights on the video game? I haven't like, played thing? it yet. Oh, really? I've seen some like I've seen some footage of it, but yeah, that's cool as fuck. It's that pretty bad. Cool. I mean, yeah, you're cool. in a fucking UFC video cool. game. That is yeah. cool. Yeah. I want you to fight that guy you just fought. I want you to get too. back to it. Yeah, I me think, too. Dude, I had it fucking like. Uh, I think you had him at moments, dude. You had him. I, I fucked up. Um, it like leading up to the fight, like I. I, I think I, I went down to Madison Square Garden, I warmed up, I ate, I ate one more time, and like I did not digest that at all. I spent like my whole He's warm up time so taking a shit. Oh, oh really? really? Like, trying to take a shit, oh. and I like, couldn't. I, and then I, I'm like, I like kick pa I like kicked the pads for like a minute, went out there cold, and then just like, it was also a little bit like my inexperience. He's like I should have, there's a few things I, I know, like watching, like drive me crazy. Like, like, so like right you after you the, fight, the fight? Yo, right after the fight, I, would, for, I had like Tourette's like 10 times a day, I just like, fuck! Like just thinking about yeah, it, I like, get it yeah. though. It's the fucking worst. What pisses you off the I'm, most about what? What? Where? All I, the greats I, I have stayed, lost. I, I was one. too. I was. I had a little bit of conceit in my jujitsu, and I thought, you know, all right, if he's he's on the ground with me, I'm gonna get him uh, in a matter of seconds. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Really, yeah, after and I was the moves I was using um, weren't ideal on a long torso opponent. Dude, so long. So that guy. I, I kept I kept going for it, and I kept thinking, all right, if I'm gonna keep going for him, I'm, I'm just gonna get it. If I like. Game of numbers. I keep putting it up there. I'm gonna get some. I didn't. I should have pushed up, got back to my feet, and like banged him out. You know, so but, uh, long. Yeah, I'll get that one back. Yeah, I'm excited about. I'll dude, get that one back. Everybody gets a fucking yeah. L. Dude. Little decision loss. Everybody, be, you know, dude. Cool. Everybody yeah. does it, man. It's like better to lose. And then yeah, I learned a lot. I, I've learned from that this fight. Just like even not just you know. Just, I just You're learned a lot. You're learning. From it. 
You're the, you know you are. You're the Brandon Schaub of MMA, where he's the Brandon Schaub of comedy. Like Brandon Schaub is learning comedy in these giant fucking situations, whether it's the main room or his theater stuff. So you're learning MMA, and you're you're a yeah, gladiator I get that. I get in the, the highest level. Of it's like a lot of these guys they they lost a couple in these amateur and they learn from that where nobody could see it. Yeah. So like the biggest yeah, my whole career will be in the in like the spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I was I was one and I had my U, right my UFC debut. I was one and oh. Yeah. Usually guys are ten and oh, yeah. eleven and oh. Against a time. sexy opponent on paper. I, which which one? well once you got your second fight when you finally got well the got three to, of them yeah my first yeah. UFC fight was Jackson I Michael beat Jackson. him in forty five seconds yep. and I had yeah CM Punk which and that was, locked in like, the Punk the fight thing, which you yeah. were already calling for yeah so that kind of was like hey man this guy just and ran he hasn't Michael fought Jackson. since I think they're gonna have him fight uh, I saw Jackson. a thing on Instagram that he was training somewhere somebody had posted I hope training. he comes back I don't know why people oh, yeah. hate that it's guy. funny I was talking to Joe Schilling and he was saying you know I think uh, you know. CM Punk, things happen. It, it, people freeze up in front of the lights. I think you should uh, get I sh that I should rematch him, and uh, you know, give him another shot. He, you know, maybe he could be better than me, CM Punk. You never know. Yeah, I, I don't know sure. if that hell. I, I think you got too <laughs> much to lose, but you'd like to light him up. Nice quick <laughs> out. You see him up. You see him up. You up never know. He might be. He might have froze me. up. You never know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> He's been in the lights seventy-five times. Yeah. Yeah. Now afterwards. Now. You have your your parties after the fights. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, what are those like then? when you win, and what's that's like when oh, you lose? Oh man, it fucking sucked. Do you still have? I like so like yeah, we had an at, like people an after not party. talking to you. No, everyone was talking to me, but I don't want to see any of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Like I, I'd see like like you know people that like my like people that I was expecting to celebrate with, and they're just like like being like, hey man, you did great, and I'm just like, fuck you, I, I felt I felt yeah. terrible, you know. I it's gotta night. be hard, dude. It's rough. That's rough. But uh, I, I got, I, yeah, uh, you know, Still I had a shitty puss? month after it. Take but it out on some I, puss yeah. at night. Yeah. No. You're like, yeah, no. who's going to win on these sad. scoring cards? I was, yeah. I was like sad for about a month, but I'm good. I'm through it. I'm stronger for it. And now, I'm, you know, what do you think of Ronda up. Rousey? And I think what's his face did that too? The guy that just lost where they don't necessarily want to talk about it right after. Like, is that kind of part of it where it's like you get to go enjoy the press conference? I'd say vet, it, the, the vets probably can. I'd, but I'd say someone like Ronda who, like, had, you know, like, well, had so much. It was so much. And then to get all teared, torn down, like, the first cut, like, losses right are tough. Right she had a huge time. fall. That's that was what people told me. Fall. Like, some, some people, like, they were like, yo, like, that first one stings. Like, that first loss. You know, that for I've been doing MMA since I was, like, fighting since I was, like, that was the first time I lost of, of all my training. You know what I mean? In how many it was years? In Madison Square Garden you know, on the GSP card, you know. So yeah, but dude, you know, man, years? you fought a dude that is never going to be able to fight. I don't think you'll be able to fight. But that I beat way him nine out of ten times, dude. I would watch that, dude. Yeah. He's just so long. Yeah, he's a he's a long motherfucker. Like he looks like he's like that guy from Street Fighter, that fucking yeah. through. The, it's like it's such long. But I think what you're gonna if you guys meet up again, you're gonna. You, I guarantee I finish him. I would love to guarantee. watch that fight again. Guarantee. It'll, it'll happen. What do you think with Luke Rockhold? Where do you think he goes from here? I don't know, man. I, I'm i kind of bunked. Right. I do I do really like Rockhold. I call um, him like Giant I like Brian Callen. Giant Brian <laughs> Callen. Does he yeah. look like a humongous Brian Callen? I don't answer to um, But he, I think he, maybe he fights Weidman. I'd like really? to see that rematch. a fun fight, right? Uh, you know, it is. that's who took Wyman's belt. That's right. And it was it was a war. That was the beginning of the not beginning of the end for Wyman. They were supposed like they were done, supposed to rematch, and that's how Bisping. But then Wyman got hurt, and that's how Bisping got the fight exactly against him. Right. When Bisping became champ. Yep. Why does it seem wow. like it, in the UFC more than anywhere, where like if you lose that belt, it is like so hard to get back. because there's a list of four people behind you that could argue a title shot. Right. Bec unless it was a close fight or a shitty decision, you got to go to the back of that line. Yeah. Y you know? It's crazy. It's crazy. And then and if you lose one or two th times before you get to that title shot, you're even fucking further back. They say it's harder to stay on top than, like, get there. Like, it's like that expression, like, yeah. um, the king doesn't want to go to war when he's sleeping in satin sheets. Yeah. yeah like, the yeah. hungry young guys, yeah. like, they, yeah. like, they're... Yeah, they're Yep, that's true. Everyone's ch you know, ch chomping at a I bit. I mean, that's why that heavyweight up, belt, that heavyweight belt, it's like, here, here's your belt, here's your belt, here's your belt. I mean, no, three title defenses is like the longest ever of all time now. And he's the greatest. Also, all those guys have one-punch knockout power. Well, exactly. I but think, I mean, that's why it's such a sexy division. 
I think that if Stipe beats Kane, he goes down as maybe the greatest heavyweight of all time. That's the one guy I'd like to see him beat. Velasquez? For Vel- Doom yeah, had if, a if chance Stipe at beats- that, being called the greatest of all time. He beat Kane, and he beat uh, Fedor, and then he just, you know, Stipe Miocic took I don't that- really like that they're doing Cormier and Stipe. Uh, I, I think- guess it's cool as a super fight, but I don't, I don't really like Cormier. Yeah. I don't but mind. What Cormier. if? Yeah, no, nah, I mean, but but also it's like. But what if he does? What if? What if? Let's hear. Let's. What if he actually wins that? Because I think a lot of people think that could, about DC. He could win. He's a beast. If DC wins that fight, you gotta fucking really acknowledge what this guy has done. I don't mind DC. I think DC. His problem is he went up against boring. someone like John Jones, who was like so. He's the he, worst. Who? DC. He why? Because he's fucking lost twice, and he's still a champion. No one really respects him as that. He's fucking annoying. He's corny. He's so fucking corny. Maybe it's his corniness I don't like. I just feel like he, you know, when you go up against, you know, my boy John Jones, 607 for life, that you uh, you end up, uh, you know, like John Jones. You end up getting a win when you lost the fight. (laughs) Well, you know, it's just like, (laughs) well, it's just he's loved. John Jones is loved. We watched him grow up into this amazing guy and go through these amazing. Just think of the murders row he went through at 205, John Jones, and beat them all Mm -hmm. handily. Handily. You know, a young man. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And then he kind of went through this crazy thing where like fame can get to you, and it's you know my theory that. You know, black guys go crazy when they get famous. And he just got a little nuts and probably had a concussion here and there that shish kebab his brain a little bit. And he just went nuts. And But DC was going up against that. And he, so John Jones, no matter what he does, is always going to be a darling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guys just I feel you. like uh, looking over my I feel like I'm on MSNBC uh, lockup and that guy's in fucking like tough. Yeah, 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 I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. he disappointed a lot of people. <laughs> Scared straight. Yeah. 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 What's going on? You got. I feel like I'm in an aquarium right now, and they're like, "What are the animals doing?" Can we take some fucking calls? Yeah, take some fucking. Yeah, yeah, calls. yeah. Let's take a call. Let's take a call. Let's take a call. New studio. Take calls. Oh my god, we're only thirty minutes left. Yeah, take some calls. Get on the call line. I wonder if GSP is gonna call. Get on your phone real quick. Let's take some calls. Take some calls. Any now calls? Look, every- What's the number? Four 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 five 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 nine ten four five sixty seven. It is three two three. Two, eight, two, Wait, seven, we don't have any calls. Seven, four, two, four. Now, people have been calling. People have yep. been calling, but we've been ignoring them. Yeah, we've been ignoring. There we go. There, there we, we go. Got, there we, go. we got a call. Watch Hello? for the finger. Watch for the finger. Go okay, ahead. Punch watch. Drunk. Hi. Yeah, punch. You're on with Punch Drunk and Mickey Gall. Hello? Hello. You're on with Hello. Punch Drunk, where winners win. Hey, are you guys Are you guys going to the Legion of Skanks uh, next month? Is it, what what's going on with the Legion of Skanks? I think they're doing month. a belly room show. Is that right? Two nights at the comedy store. Yep. Belly Ooh. room and main room. Twenty Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd love to go watch them. I love those guys. It would be a fun thing to watch for sure. I think Maybe we, you get Big Day to pay off his bet. Oh yeah, right. man. He's got a fucking solicit dick on the internet. Yeah. He has to put his real phone number on back page. Yeah, let's do it. He should get. Real yeah. Phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna about, do that. What about you, Mickey? Are you gonna be out there? He's um, I might, I might be, I might be. I got what is what is the days of that that they're doing their uh, show? Twenty uh, eighth and 29th of March. Oh, yeah, actually, I pl- I, I do plan on being here. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah. yeah, I'll be there then. We will all be there, sir. Fucking a. All right, later, guys. Suck Thank it. you. Look at that call, smooth, right, quick, professional. Get it out. Get it out. That was a professional call. Get in, get out. That wasn't somebody dicking around. I'm going to heckle and Ask strangle some Lewis stupid shit. and put him to sleep. Yeah, or when they fucking call and they're just like, hey, uh, I would love to watch I that. I didn't think you were going to answer. It's you like, should, fuck. It should be yeah. one of those pornos where like <laughs> you choke him out and then bang his girlfriend. And that'd, be good, that's, that'd be a good video. How yeah. about this? How about this, Mickey? How about this? How about this? You start Lewis on stage, Lewis on stage, and you start, wait, hold on. And you start like this, just like your arms slowly around his neck, like just like that. And then every time he tells a joke doesn't work, you go a little, a little. <laughs> And it, what a if he, if a joke goes good, can he loosen it a little? <laughs> like, can he dig himself out? Yeah. 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 Okay. Himself out with his lack of talent. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're on with Punch Drunk Sports. Uh, Ari Shafir's here, and he's on the power of Skype. Hello? Hey, guys. Thanks Hi. for having me. Thanks for having calling in. What do you think of our new studio? Where are you calling from? Oh, it's awesome. It's uh, nice to have a nice studio. 
Where are you calling uh, from? Canada, Reno, clearly. Oh, Where are you Miami. calling from, dude? Miami FL. Miami FL. Miami, dude. Miami, Ohio. Ohio. Ooh. The worst Seven Miami. Nice. No, 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 no. Miami, where the Cubans live. Oh, oh he's Florida. from Florida. Oh, it is Florida. All right, the good Miami. Uh, great I've had city sex at the bad Miami and the good Miami. For women, great city <laughs> for Every women. Miami, I get shitty, <laughs> shitty town for comedy. Shitty town for comedy. Oh. Because they love to just stare at themselves and they like bad ethnic comedy. Mm. Like anyone, huh? we're actually getting a new improv. But oh, so I really called to uh, just kind of like talk about more how DC is unlikable and he's also missing a tooth. Sure. So I agree with Ari. Missing a tooth. Completely unlikable. And I think <laughs> I don't know that against him. Is <laughs> shit. All right. Um, no, I'm, I'm with you. Too. We got everything too. he wanted for Christmas. What'd you say, Ari? He looks like a kid who got everything he wanted for Christmas. And he's also fat, so I mean. Hey, dude, I'm really, fat. I, mean, I ain't judging. Are you really training there? But you're a comedian, Tripoli. I mean, there's a difference. That's guys true. Athlete. Yeah, you don't that have to train for all day long. That is true, dude. I love when people make I mean, athlete a three syllable word. Uh -huh. Athlete. athlete. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? How do, How is it that he? I mean, I know he trains. You see him training all the time, but he still just has that like dad bod. Well, dude, did you yeah. see this last pay-per-view? The farther the fight is from Las Vegas, the weirder the fighters look. Have you noticed that? Like, did you see? Where was were, this one at? This one was in um, Australia. Okay. And dude, everybody had bitch tits. It was just, and it was just everybody has power, and they all, and this French guy got his ass beat by the Samoan dog. Samoans fucking throw, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, but man, Big they bones. just looked really uncomfortable. French guys always come in and get their ass. The only French guy to ever do well was that. What's his name that's in Bellator now? A GSP, but he's French-Canadian. The big black guy, bald dude, was oh. like number one on our... Czech Congo? Czech Congo is the only like French guy to kick ass. Czech Congo would fuck guys. me up. Thanks for calling in, dude. No, no, I have one more for us. Oh, oh yeah. okay. What is it? Oh, can, I, can I become the single correspondent from Miami? Yes, dude. Can you call us when you're okay. banging puss? Oh one shit, time we got too? correspondence again. Yes, nice, oh, yes. Cool. Yeah. love it. Yeah, it's like the old days. Guys. Yeah, you, you're just calling yeah, in. Yeah, funny guys got it big. So you just want to you, you want to tell us how difficult it is to date in Miami? That's what your angle is going to be. No, are you going to tell us about all the no, all no, about no, Latin no, puss? How difficult it is. Wait, I can't. I'm, I'm currently broke, and like Miami's very materialistic. So like, unless you have money, you really can't get laid. So I haven't gotten laid in a. Okay. Also, you're a little bitch. Don't forget about that. Hey, you should be handsome. Hey, hey, I'm actually a big fan of Ari. I don't appreciate those comments. Oh, Thank shit. you, Stan. Lay off him. Okay. Ari, nobody likes shoes. Yeah. Nobody likes Jews, Ari it's said. I do, I do. So listen, here's the thing, dude. You're going to bang some puss, and when you're banging puss, you're going to call this number 323-992-9118, and you're going to leave a voicemail while you bang her, Okay. Hey, wait! Right. Quick question: you What's your what's what's your name other than Miami okay. correspondent? Oh, Sebastian. Ah, oh, to hang go. up. This guy Ask something know. else. <laughs> I know. Damn. That was good, Gal. He's got to learn. You got to learn. You got to learn. Dude, when it's you a see new this, system. It's a new system. This? They can't see us anymore. Sam was always the worst. He was like, "Ari, are you gonna um, watch the Super Bowl?" And I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> I know. Well, he would always ask a yes no I question. I got Ari a lot. I know. I got. He's acting like I don't get him. I got him. But you gotta let it go. You do gotta give him give him a reason to talk. It can't be like a yes no question. I liked it. Dude, we got more callers, dude. When we gonna get some of the old callers back? Like uh, Jeb. I know Jeb started calling into the Legion of Skanks. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and uh, and uh, not to mention GSP. What about Ari's? Uh, uh, the girl he used to play basketball with. That was always a good oh, one. That was great, dude. You know uh, what? The, the black one, so yeah. we're entering the NCAA tournaments. Looking like March is going to be right around the corner, and that's why you got to make some bets. I did some parlays on BetDSI. BetDSI for all your betting needs. You go to the website, BetDSI, put in the promo code PUNCH25. You get tw how much money, dog? Um, I think it's in the code, but 25, 25 bucks yeah, that's, and whatever you put in, they'll double that shit and you can make that cheddar free money, free money. I had a great fucking parlay. Then I went to shit. We got to do a March madness thing too. 
We got to do a March yeah. Madness thing. We got to do a lot of stuff, man. We got to believe in ourselves. Guys, you should bet. Betting's fun. That's why people get addicted to it. Yeah, I love it. Do you bet at all? Do you bet <laughs> on really. fights at all? You not can't, really. can you? I'm just kind of, yeah. Not, do they make really. you sign a but thing if that if says I did, you I would be bet DSI. Yeah, that's great. Right, that's professionalism right there. Yeah, go to bet. He's out. Use the code Have punch you? 25. And yeah. it gives you 25 bucks. Dude, to I, had, with. I had in college, I had a guy on the golf team on Maryland, partial scholarship. He was not allowed to fill out an NCAA pool. What are you doing, that's dude? Stupid. That's stupid. That's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought you were going on another thing. No, we were looking at March Madness. Oh, okay. Dude, he hates Duke so fucking much. It's unbelievable. That's the worst. They got such great players, though. This. Dude, this crop coming in is the amazing. Sucks. Yeah. Guys. Do they make you Have sign you a thing? Have you cornered anybody? Yeah, I've cornered, I've cornered a lot of people, yeah. What, what, like, sometimes you listen to corners and, like, you'll hear what Joe's saying and kind of, you know, how, feel like kind of how Joe's saying. And then you see the corner telling him, what's the most important thing to do when you're dealing with a corner? When you're huh. cornering somebody. That's a good question. I don't know. I guess just, like... Lie to him, dude. You're doing great. <laughs> no, just be. It's. I. I think for like technical, and then just when they come in the corner, just calming them down and trying to make the most of that minute rest. So like typically, like the uh, like the Neither first thing you, you do. Nor your family are safe. I'm a bank. We can hear that. We can hear it. The, we gotta get him. Typically, the first thing you do is you make him take like three deep like breaths. Be like, oh, give me three breaths, and like kind of calm them down. But then you then you can give them like some sort of instruction or adjustments. Why do you guys spit in their mouths? Like you know, what? like weird. Are you talking weird about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, uh, you got it. Go for it, kid. Uh, do they make you sign a thing that's like you can you legal, like you contractually cannot gamble on fights? No, they don't no. have you do anything. I was no. wondering. I was wondering that. Yeah, no. Are so you t that meaning technically you could? <coughs> I think so. Gamble yeah, I think, on. I think so. Because you know you can't in baseball. You can get in trouble for all that. Well, you know that uh, uh, Mayweather tried to put money on him on himself, and they wouldn't let him. But he does a lot though. Probably in that fight, some, I'm sure. Some other guy do it on yourself. But he always, usually does. But he was picking the round and everything. I think that's, all, like, that's uh, what uh, P. Rose uh, did. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he bet on himself. There's nothing picking wrong the with that. Picking the round sucks. Picking the round means like then you're, then you're changing the fight. Yeah. If you just think you're going to win, you're always – Michael you're Jordan did it too for sure. But it's also sure. – oh, Of course, Barkley. Yeah. They all did. But it's also like a fight like that against Mayweather and McGregor. If I'm Vegas, I'm like – Okay, we've missed, let, let you bet on a lot of your own fights. You're not betting on this one. You're going to fucking tune this guy up. Is there any real gravity to them getting in the octagon? I, I, don't, fucking, I, don't, I don't think so. I can't imagine any way I, he would want I can't that. Imagine but, me dude, doing just they leg would kicks make alone. A lot of leg money. kicks alone, he's done. Just grappling. I mean, that's, so pulls that's his leg. over. He's, that, it's he's over. A lot he's of a, money. Yeah, a turtle dude. without a sh on, a, on his back. They it's should, like, I'll. I have to tap you five times to win this. Fight. I would tell you, I bet you they could make 500 mil each. People just to watch. Can, can I tell wouldn't. you what they really should do? They sh that's who they should have CM Punk fight. Because if CM Punk gets him on the ground, I guarantee CM Punk beats him. Oh, that's not but a if, bad but fight. If, but, if, but also, but or CM weight? Punk will get his, get his face punched. Are they same weight? Nah. That's actually a good point. Nah. nah. Yeah, we got another caller. Weight, Punk's heavier. We got another caller. A two eight, A two eight. You're on with Mickey Gall, New Jersey's finest. What's going on, boys? Oh yeah. shit! We are back. It's official. Cousin Jeb. All right, your cousin's on the phone. No way. Yes, the guy who saw other podcasts, but hey, now boys. the new studio. He's back on, where fellas. he belongs. Punch drunk sports. Have you gotten Have you gotten laid? Are you doing drugs? Have you come out? This the is closet? the longest it question. <laughs> intro. We asked ask you eleven questions. Yeah. No, no, hell, it's going up on ten years. This boy since I've had some ham wallet, and uh, hell, in about seventy more days, I'll be able to smoke me a goddamn ball bat. Why? Well, what's going on? In seventy days. I'll be off this fucking probation finally. Oh fuck, oh, man. man! Sorry, buddy. Wow. Why can't you bang puss, bro? Well, I've got the game of, like, Bill Cosby. Well, hell, that'd be better game than what I got, though, because, hell, at least he can slip some bits and peels or something. I just ain't got no games, boy, and I really don't go out and look for no pussy, though. Well, that's oh, that'll, yeah. that'll, that will suck. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'll start with that. Yeah, that's a great point, Jason. Great point. Uh, I think you should go out there and just bang, dog. Just throw heat at these chicks. Are you in shape at all? Yeah, I know all these goddamn... 
they busting teachers left and right around here fucking students. I went to school. My damn U.S. history teacher, this fat bitch, used to <laughs> suck a goddamn football uh, player's dick, give him good luck and stuff. No bullshit. She'd give him a blowjob before every home game for good luck. Oh, good <laughs> luck. And still get me. For <laughs> good luck. That's uh-huh. fucking great, dude. I always wanted to know what is the, uh, what is, are there school shootings in schools where teachers fuck their students? I'd say no. Who wants to shoot place up when you had your balls drawn, drained, right? I just can't understand these little snitchy bastards telling on some of these hot bitches. Like, damn, keep that shit secret and pass that bitch around. Yeah, because you kind of can blackmail her at that point. She has to show up Ace. and suck everybody's dicks. Be like, Mrs. Johnson, either you're going to jail, you show at her house, and you're sucking every dick in the fucking fourth eighth grade. grade. <laughs> eighth grade. Team, did you do your book report? I was fucking you all night. I had no time to do my book report. <laughs> Uh, so uh, you know where I was. Mickey, I, what, Mickey? I want you. I want to see you shut that fucking Colby Covington f- uh, fuck mouth up. I can't stand that fucking bastard. You don't like Col- Colby? Colby talks no, a lot of shit, huh? Shit. Where was he talk shit on uh, Brazilians? All the Brazilians. Been, oh, so bad. Yeah. And yeah. they. Oh, I love Brazilians though. Have you been down to Brazil? Uh, no. But I, I've been to American Top Team where they they all train. It's a little uh. Savage he did now. Oh, really? There's a lot of Brazilians train there, and he's been talking shit on all them. So, but the, and then that's where he trains. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. That's, that's kind of stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, yeah. That's like shitting in Does your bed. Does he really feel that, or is no, he just using the promote? He's doing a thing. He's being a character. Yeah. You know, he he, 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 but he's still he gonna piss somebody off. Wrestling. Yeah. 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 I, I, it's crazy, dude. Has Anderson Silver just uh, Anderson Silver just destroyed his legacy? <sighs> No. Like Brandon Shaw put out, he has to be the worst person at taking PEDs in the world. Like, he must oh, be putting oh. it in his fucking uh, macaroni and cheese. Like, how? He's getting, what is this, the fourth time? I, uh, here's a theory you might he needs like. He to go to Bellator, heard. right? He, yeah, I heard, I, I heard that old. he might have done it on purpose, that he wants to retire, wants a break. That's a theory I heard. What is he, 41? Yeah. He's the one on purpose. Yeah, they uh, took failed, r- failed, the, failed the test. Get, give him a, give, get a way out. But he hasn't fought forever, though. Because of the shit. Because right. Of the, he's been he's been trying to fight, but he, he was supposed to fight. He wasn't he supposed to fight Gasolum when uh yeah. Bisping Gasolum, filled yeah. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, he was asking for a title fight. shot, and he was like, "The UFC's been ridiculous." Like everyone's like, "Dude, you've lost four out of five. What, what are you talking?" And then about? he wanted, then he wanted uh, Bisbing or something weird like that. Yeah, I, I, thought I, I think he's still Bisping. Mount Rushmore, still legend. Oh, easily, Whatever. dude. I know it's just silly right now. Yeah. Is John Jones on that Mount Rushmore? Ta- like talent wise, yeah, okay, but I don't know about accomplishment wise, just because of the longevity. I don't know. I mean, his potential is. Yeah, he should be. He should be the. the he the should main be, one. dude. He went through Murder's Row. The only person I think that had anything close to that. But was then you got to go like Fedor hmm. in um, in when he fought in Japan, when all those guys were at the height of their power. Yeah, but that, it, I think in the way that he's hurt his legacy is in the realm of like. Oh yeah, he did go through all those great fucking fighters, but I mean, he's been busted a lot for PEDs and for masking drugs. Like, how clean was it? You start doing that shit. You start. You talking Anderson? Yep. Or yeah. No, I'm or Fader. No, I'm talking about uh, John Jones. Oh, Jones, right, right. Where I'm saying it's like same thing as like, oh, look at those guys who broke all the home run records, and then two years later yeah. they all got busted for steroids. They're like, well, we weren't on them when we broke all those records right. and we killed everybody, right. and then we just did. You kind of do right. that, and I, I think that to someone like me, I'm like, Ugh, God, I wish someone like that would just be clean. I don't care. I mean, I know it affects you, but I put on a show. I guess. I, I guess. I, I kind of feel. I kind of feel. This, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's like comics him, when I they get mad at people stealing jokes, and you're like, Well, I just I enjoy it. He does it well. It's like, Well, that's not the point. There's so, a part of me that doesn't care, but there's a part of me that's like, Then make that the standard, because if there are people that are playing clean by the rules. It's unfair. I think stealing jokes is way more fucked up. Because well, like, it's almost like stealing your identity. Like it's kind of like. You Why know can't what I mean? we just like, have a drug division where you? Fuck yeah, I'd be. You have. have to it's called Bellator. Yeah. It's called yeah. Bellator. Yeah. Yeah. Just you have to flunk a drug test. Yeah. You have to yeah. piss fire. Yeah. Yeah. To fight. Yeah. It's called uh, WWE. Yeah, you're not allowed to have. You have to have three drugs in you. Yeah. yeah. Three different drugs. Yeah. Well, you know what's so funny about cocaine? Like they were like, oh yeah, coke and assist. Oh, don't even look at the screen, guys. Don't even look at the screen, because it's gonna get bad. It's gonna get bad. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> oh uh, man, I'm glad. What do you say, guys? Roar shark test. Roar shark test. What do you guys? What do you guys oh, see? Uh, I see an elephant. <laughs> an elephant playing a tuba. I, I see, see a turkey. I see a strawberry. A skateboard. It's a strawberry, dude. Look at that. It is a strawberry. It is a strawberry, dude. <laughs> I think that's great. Dancer. That's great. Oh, we got more calls. Let's just keep taking calls. I love it. Let's take some more calls. calls. Hello. Hello. It takes a little time, but we're, we're very happy for this. Hello? Caller. What's going Call? on, boys? Who's this? Ooh. Where are you calling from? Where are you calling from? Calling from Utah. Ari, we'll be seeing you next weekend. I just want to say I'm glad to see you guys are in the new studio. Thank you. Fuck Ron. He's a quitter. He hasn't called in in years. Right. And I just been, I took off today. I took off work today to make sure that I said hello to Teeb. Hey, Ari. What's up, Mickey? And fuck you, Sam Trip. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. This motherfucker came in hot. He came in hot. I saw it coming. I saw it. waiting a long time. Damn. When he said Mickey before before Sam. No, I knew it. I knew it when he started saying it was good. Was that Arizona? No. Oh, Utah. That was Utah. I'm going to have to get the controllers over here. I'm not liking Johnny on it, to be honest. How did he have anything to do with that? I might have to sit over there instead. I'll just be over there. You would have cut it out early. I might have to be over there. I might be, have to be over there and run it from there. You know, the only reason that happens is because it bothered you one time. Yeah, one time. And, and now these bozos them. are like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw it coming, too. It's just like I saw it. All right, how long is this shit? a weird face. He's making a weird uh, face. I, I've got something coming out now. It might be a hemorrhoid or it might be shit. I'm not really oh, sure. Oh, dude. Uh, it's, can oh, we, oh could maybe you? you guys can look at it for me because no, I don't have a good idea. No, no, actually, that, man. we don't want that. We're trying oh, to be well. professional. I'm this going is to look real this studio. way. This is studio. I will look now this way. Now you're making way. Mickey get on his phone, and that makes me sad. Sad. Okay, so now this is right post shit. <laughs> this is the worst it's ever going to be. Oh, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> and the thing is... Ari on the board of directors doesn't get a talking to. Yeah. Sam and I get a talking to. I, and it offends me and it makes me sad. <laughs> Sam, yeah. Patreon, what? Oh, Ooh, what? that's very bloody. I oh, I no. It. I don't agree with it. And that's a UFC fighter saying that. I don't want to see it. It's offensive to me. You have me. a dumb looking dick. <laughs> you do look a dumb smart. looking dick. My dick is like Dana Cormier. Your dick looks stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I wish on the app you could go wrinkly. to uh, the um, the uh, five star reviews, but I can't. They're all old ones. They're all old ones. I'll do it next time. Yeah, dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. Love you love blood. Ugh. I don't love it. I've gotten a accustomed lot. to it. Have no, you, no, you just said I love will blood. Will it ever heal? A lot, of a lot of blood. Oh. Like, will it ever heal? I don't think it will. Do you think it could like really do damage to you? No, it could do damage when I'm sitting in someone's face. I could drown them, but that's about it. Uh, I'm mean, gonna go to jail for that because I know I knew it could happen. Can we take that call? Oh, geez. oh, they hung up. I don't know. No, he clicked on him. He fucking clicked on him. Ugh. Who has the best body in MMA? I think it's Jessica I. She can't beat anybody, mm. but she's got a <laughs> phenomenal body. I literally thought we were talking about guys, and I was really trying to think of my right answer. <laughs> yeah, Never even guys. went to my head, female MMA. I was like, who does have the best That's a good body? good question. I'm trying to think. I, I like the karate hottie. I'm not Cupcake into Tate was cool, but now she's oh, yeah. she preggers. Um, I'm in the preggers. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, fuck yeah, dog. <laughs> fuck yeah. Yeah, Cupcake. <laughs> I could get down with that. Karate Hottie's I feel like there's a few we're, for, we're forgetting. Of course. Can we pull up some rankings, maybe? Holly Holm, yeah, no. Pull up the female division. I don't like ripped abs on a girl. Oh, we Yo, uh, uh, I know, know who's cool? Kat Zingano. She is cool, dude. She, she's uh, she she's like a, a, a real woman. Like Hi, a, you're on with Punch Drunk. How are you? Look up no. Kat Zingano. Please. What, what? Are we getting rid of these things? Oh, look who's back. Ari Shafir. Everybody's favorite. We were trying to take a call and then trying to look something up and trying to keep you on all at the same time. That's a lot of things. Uh, Hello? Well, 630, how are you? Thanks for calling in. What's going on, bros? What Nada, up, baby? What's the yeah, word? Yeah, yeah. What's the word? Yo, first off, I want to congratulate Mickey on uh, that GoPuff commercial. I've seen it everywhere. Really? Step one. 
Yeah, nope. like a puff commercial with you in a see it? salsa bath. Where what? do you see uh, it? Yeah. I want to see it. Oh, oh. Nice. Well, you got to get a smartphone first. Anyway, here's what I really want to talk about. The hottest women win. <clears throat> the hottest women athletes in the uh, Olympics this year. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if been paying attention. Who is it? Who is it? Is it? The awesome. I mean, I like the some. I like the. I'm way into the um, more summer. I think the hotter chicks are in the summer. Maybe no, because... the fucking Austrians, man. They're the, they're the winter girls. The Austrian girls are so hot that I'd be like, if you wanted to Holocaust us again, I we, I, I could understand. I know you're going to think I'm crazy. There was a Russian curler. I was watching curling last oh, night. Oh, yeah. There was a Russian curler that was pretty fucking smoking out. She kind of looked like Megan uh, Fox a little bit. Kind of Angelina Jolie a little bit. But I was like, oh, all Russia. you do is push a fucking 50 pound rock. Uh, yeah, that's her. That was her. All of this Sweden, oh, yeah, Denmark, sure. the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah really look at her eyes. She has great I, her eyes were striking. Yeah. All right. So here's do you guys really want to know who the hottest one is? I think personally, okay. here's who she is. Uh, you put this bitch in. S Jesus I Christ. <laughs> Why does this guy sound like a br suddenly British? Like he's fucking at. Go on. S I. L J E N O E N D A L. Oh, he can't hear you. He can't hear you dude. So oh. Yeah, she's hot as shit, man. Norwegian snowboarder. She's pretty fucking. Put in Norwegian snowboarder. Norwegian Check. Snowboarder. Hottie. Hottie. Uh, yeah, it's Norwegian uh, snowboarder. Yeah, she's a Norwegian snowboarder. I mean, she's hot. Does she need a green Ooh. card? She no. Nah, she's good. She's going. <laughs> ah, right. Anyway, just wanted to. Oh start. yeah. Oh okay. Well, shit. Oh, that's oh a, yeah, that's a Tiger Damn. Woods check right there. She is gorgeous. Damn. That's a Tiger Woods. Take half yeah, your she's money. Delicious. I mean, Lindsay also, Vaughn's been the... hot too. No, nah, no, nah, this girl is gorgeous. Yeah, Lindsay this Vaughn's been hot. around oh, yeah. the block. When See, Lindsay... guys, I'm telling you, winter is so much better. You, so you're much you're better right, bro. Summer. She's, yeah, good she's call super on this cute. One. I she disagree. is really cute. I just you don't think she's cute? No, I think she's hot. But the notion that winter is better than summer. Is ridiculous. Uh, that's, silly. that's silly. All all winter has really is, is snowboarders. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Look at that. Boom. Also, Tick one last one last thing before one last thing before I drop out, guys. Yeah, um, I love the new studio. It's the best because we get to watch Triply text on his phone. Oh, oh, God. you can see oh, that now. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to work on this. We're gonna have to work on this. Where I can't control. I gotta control the calls. It's getting a little out of control. It's getting Sam, a little. Sam, are you are you? Are you thinking of going to a flip phone, Sam? Is I here, right? Yeah, I am. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You know, you just go to Best Buy again. The reason I was on my phone but... is because I wanted to see if I could read reviews. That's why, guys. So I could read reviews. But I can't because the app doesn't allow you to do most recent reviews. That's what I'm trying to do. Why is that? To... Well, because Apple is ran by fucking horrible human beings. And they're assholes. Yeah, but you would think you'd be able to, if you write a review, you should be able to see it. You can't see it till later oh. or something. Oh, yeah. Can we, can you go see the reviews? Can we see the reviews? Oh, you might not be able to do it on that because this is what a map. Oh, it is. So weird. So weird. So weird. So weird. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see, let's see Mickey's commercial. Yeah, run Mickey's commercial. Let's see. Yeah, let me see. Let's see his You active. haven't seen it yet? I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You jerked off Go to back. it multiple times. Shut Mickey up. Gale nah, commercial. man, I'm way cooler than that. Commercial. He is cooler than that. Oh, let's see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see it. Oh, here we go. Let me see it. Flip, oh. flip, flip, flip. Nice, nice. Mickey, what the hell? No double dipping, dude. I'm sorry. I no, know. you always do this. You always double dip every time we put something inside of a little kid pool. I just no, I'm sick of this, dude. It's like, do you even care about me? Do you care about this friendship? I don't care if you're a UFC fighter, okay? It doesn't mean you don't need to have manners. You know, I'll just go in the sour cream tub. Yeah, Does well, he suck your yeah, dick yeah, after this right now? Yeah, all the salsa off me. I had to sit, I, I peed in that salsa you know, pool Mickey, like three I times. No, no, I let him come in. <laughs> Did you pee in it? Yeah. You should have. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm shut up. For sure. Just drown him. <laughs> oh, that. that was great <laughs> acting. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you improv nice. but stayed within the character. It was realistic choices. You you blew that guy nice. out of the water. How long did it take Thanks, you to guys. get all the salsa off of you? Uh, One shower. <laughs> did you guys shower together? No. <laughs> that guy definitely wanted to suck your dick for sure. For sure. 
How many people are on this line? Look at all the numbers up there. We only got five minutes left. All right, man. How do you want? Do you want to talk a little baseball to get Aaron fucking? No, no. It's February thirteenth. We're not talking about baseball right now. Today's the first catchers and pitchers. Shut up. Come on. Yeah, take a call. Take a call. Since Ari doesn't want to talk about anything. Saggy diaper. Hi, seven six zero. You're on with Mickey Gall. Hey, what's up, guys? I love the show. Thank I don't you. care yeah. anything about sports, but oh, nice. I still watch every Tuesday. Nice, because you get oh, it. You get you. it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, Sam, I, no- I noticed that there's a Tumex episode of Tinfoil Hat coming up, another one. What's that topic about? Uh, we just talked about, uh, you know, being an underground rapper, how he picks up chicks, and uh, we talk about these, these new rappers that are out. These fucking uh, mumble rappers and this new movement to gangster rap, like this Mexican that signed out of fucking New York, is like a fucking clown. So we talk a lot about that, about just how rap and comedy is very similar too. It's a good episode, dude. Nice. Thanks, dude. Thank nice. You. Can't wait. The last the last episode was great. Oh, appreciate uh, it. You still doing that comedy store ghost hunt? Yeah, we are. That was a great that was a good timing. Call. That was a good timing. That was a Tim Foyle call. We're trying to do it. They got me and Steve Lee and Ryan are going to spend the night at the comedy store overnight. Oh, really? Funny. Yeah, we're going to ch- ghost chase. All right, good luck. I okay. spent the night over there. All I do is barf chase. Barf chase? I believe that. I, believe yeah, I mean, that. I was pretty drunk and I passed out in the back and then I woke up and the alarms were on so I couldn't leave. All right, all right. I believe That's that. That's great. That's great. I, caught the barf. I, ca- I did catch the barf in the end. Oh, nice, nice. Well, you know what? Because you believe in yourself. That's why. Simple. Speaking about barfing, I will be in Australia uh, mid-April till the very beginning of May. Nice. I'm very happy for you, dude. I'm really happy that I'm shooting my special March 25th. All right. You're in, even though you don't know it, you're in the new episode that's coming out of 92.7 The Pod. You're on a show called... Dancing with the Not Stars. Oh. Yeah, you're a contestant on there. I love it. Sam, why are you on your phone? Because He's I'm trying seeing to read what the reviews. else we talk about. Yeah, I can't get these. What are you calling the album? No, we'll bring it up then. Sam. It's not an album. It's a special. Yeah, what are you calling? I don't know. It's, it might be uh, Pale Horse. might be Zero Fucks. might be uh, how about, Armageddon. How about, this? how about this? I don't know if you do this bit anymore, but how about Call Me Nigger? That is one of your classics. Thing? Yeah, people get weird when I talk about that now on stage. It just these kids are so sensitive. It just sucks. <laughs> They're just so sensitive. Dude, it'd be a killer title for a fucking special. If Sam somebody Shirley. gives us ten thousand dollars a month for the next five years on Patreon, you can name Sam's album <laughs> a special. You think All about right, that, yeah. dude. Let's I'm end the show. That's one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year for the next ten years. That's one point two that. million. I changed my name to the M word. I, would. I know a lot of people that are already calling you that. Say so they're ahead of the game. <laughs> Guys, this has been a great thing. We love you with our heart. That's a great shirt. This guy fucking gets it. Yeah, Show bro. him the shirt. Get the Bye-bye. fucking Bye-bye. shirt. Bye-bye. Buy the shirt. Buy our shirts. Leave us reviews. Ari didn't sleep today. <laughs> Ari, well that done. Last week. That was too much. I today, Ari, right, well so, done for being so. awake the entire episode. The new studio is great. Congratulations. Great job, Fight comedy. Nanny. Great job. Great job, Johnny. Great job, fucking dude over there. You know who you are. Uh, Aaron great, is his name. Aaron. Great job, Pollyanna, for chilling like a villain. Mickey, now you're out here a lot. We want you on the show as much yeah, as you do it. Yeah, coming out for You're sure. always welcome, and we'll hang out. We'll bang puss, bro. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you. Could you beat could you beat both of them in an arm wrestling contest? Who? He's at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, of course he could. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Suck it. <laughs>